been another one of those weeks, baby. Another one of those weeks. We are rolling right through fantastic game release after fantastic game release. This week was another huge one. It was Division 2. It is here. Finally, the day is upon us. Woo! <laughs> that was Jordan. That was Jordan. He's, the, the apocalypse I don't of think, Washington, D.C. is here. I don't think Jordan has ever done that. Yeah, Jordan, that was that's usually that's a David move. Yeah, usually you hate <laughs> doing anything. Yeah, usually it's just uh, silence. But wow, look at that's how much he's pumped up for the Division 2. Wow. Welcome, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. This is the X1 Bros. We are... We are podcast? No, this is podcast number 252. We are podcast 252. This, uh, well, we're the X1 Bros. We're your positive gaming and Xbox One community. As always, I'm joined by the bros, Mr. McSpicy. Hello. Jordan the man. Hi. And I'm X1. Welcome. Thank you for joining us. Let's just jump right into it. Division 2. Division 2 is here. It's upon us. There has been much hype around it. We got in on Tuesday night. Because yeah, we because we're gold, rock stars. We got yeah. the gold edition. Gold. I felt like a rock star. And it, I, it actually made me realize, I, in fact, I told Spicy this over the phone. Now I get why Jordan pays more money for the, for the big boy yeah. editions, because oh, yeah. it makes you feel good. Well, because yeah. you get to play early, and that's, uh, I think that's actually a pretty cool feature yeah, it, for it spending really money. I don't right. know. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Like, I Benefits. Don't, like, yeah, that's, yeah. It's like going to McDonald's and not getting the dollar menu. You just feel like a I rock star. I, oh, the fillet of fish is not on the dollar menu, so I I do know what that. Like you know a, what I mean? Like I you, do you, know what that. You get that higher class food in you. Yeah. And do you it know just feels McDonald's fantastic. does donuts now? McDonald's what? does donuts. Shut up. Yeah, the donut sticks. Because the commercial, they're like, "Do you ever have a McCoffee or whatever they call it?" We'll now have a McDonut with a McCoffee. That's the whole thing. Oh. And then I actually went to McDonald's today. They have a big old sign on their drive-through that says, "Our donuts are cooked in the same fries." Fryer as the fries. <gasps> it's a French that's, fry donut. That's funny. Well, I think I think they did it for health reasons. Theoretically, like, that should suck. But in the, but at the same time, no, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, suck. I want to try that. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think they're just preemptively because you know a lot of people sue McDonald's. I think for like dumb reasons. So I think they're just preemptively on this one. Yeah, it's like anything. Any any company with making millions and millions of dollars has a giant target on its yeah. back for. Well, you know, reasons. I always feel bad for McDonald's, and I I support McDonald's just just out of the. Uh, Goodness of your heart? Well, yeah, because everybody's always like, well, McDonald's, they're so ridiculous. They're not healthy. No, I well, think that's over. Me. Well, yeah, I yeah, but what gets me is like, I never, I, they never claim to be healthy. They're just sitting there like, as we make burgers. Like, what? I, like, I don't know what they, like, what, I, yeah, I, like. I never saw a commercial saying that their their burgers have less cholesterol than the other. I know, guys. like, I never got, like, McDonald's is so awful. Look, guys, we make burgers. We're not trying, you know, <laughs> there's French fries. Like, like I mean, they're, ne- they're just, like, when I am, if I'm on, like, my Weight Watchers diet. Oh. McDonald's. I'm fries. not going to McDonald's. Dude, you know McDonald's, what I mean? McDonald's fries are so good. Like you, you, you heard about the coffee cups billing on the guy. Of course, it's like, they, yeah. it's like super famous. Yeah, is that real or is that an urban legend? I don't know. It's probably real. It's probably an urban legend and real. It's probably suppose, both. It's probably both. Yeah, I suppose did you see like Del- Man Bear Pig? Sorry, before we get to it, did you see Del Taco made their French fry bar of soap? Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. So you could smell yeah. like I was Del actually, Taco French fries. I was actually late. Although Del Taco said our world famous French fries, I don't think of French fries when I think of Del Taco. Do you? I don't know. I don't actually. Dude, honestly, think of, to be honest with you, every time I think of Del Taco, I think of their avocados. I think now. of their secret sauce. Uh, that's good stuff too. I yeah. think of their avocados. Oh really? And I actually oh, went yeah, there this week because, because, and, because what did the sign say? And Keith prepared them this week. <laughs> Keith, he at like eight oh seven in the morning. Keith, Keith has pre- prepared your avocados, and today. they're fresh. They were freshly picked from someplace in Mexico like a week ago. Is that not fresh? Well. I mean, if you pick it right away and just throw it on the truck, maybe. <laughs> that's fresh. <laughs> now, that's fresh. Oh, you, man. No, that's you know what? funny. You know what? Speaking of, like, restaurant chains, hmm. you ever go to, I mean, I'm sure you've been to Chick-fil-A. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of bugs me that they always say my pleasure. Have uh, you ever noticed that? Yeah, I don't mind that. What What I mind is that the drive through at Chick-fil-A takes forever. Well, well, that's maybe just ours. That maybe, that's maybe just ours. But, like, yeah. anytime you say thank you. They'll have. To, I think they have. No, no, to they say have my, to. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Thanks again. Thanks. And maybe I just do a guy it. I work with. Maybe I just do it because it annoys. <laughs> I mean, maybe I don't know. It bugs me, so I keep having them do that. Maybe that's kind well, of counterproductive. <laughs> it's like well, a psycho- psychological thing with you. <laughs> just like because it's like we look at each other's eyes. Thank you. <laughs> my pleasure well, again. A guy I work with, we went there and they kept saying it's my pleasure. And my coworker was like, "Do you have to say my pleasure?" And he was like, "It's my pleasure." <laughs> 
Lay that was his right. response. Yeah, it's my pleasure. <laughs> he's to got. Say. He's, there's yeah, a laser, a laser yeah. scope that goes right on his forehead. Yes, the guy's like peeking around the corner, like <laughs> looking at him to make sure. I don't mind that. I like that. Well, it, it's. I get what he's saying. Like when I have, it's it, out, it, sometimes it's, it's, it's out of the norm. When yeah, I have a maid, the only way that they or a butler, the only way they can respond to me is with my pleasure. That's what you're gonna do. Yeah, clean my, my clean my, my bathroom. My pleasure. My cl- pleasure, Lord. My pleasure, sir. Yeah, I'm gonna have them say Lord Vader. Lord <laughs> Vader. <laughs> Your bathroom is now clean, Lord Vader. <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be cool. I like that. Yeah, I could get no, behind that, guys. Did and you then see, I'd wear just a black cape. Did you guys see the big news <laughs> around my house? The big, and that's big it. food news this week, big, or la- it was probably a couple weeks ago. Actually, big food I can't news. believe we didn't talk about it. If you spend more than I think twelve bucks at Taco Bell, they deliver. Oh yeah, for free. Everyone's like doing that now. Yeah. But that's not big news for me. When McDonald's starts to no, but because usually they use like Uber Eats, and no offense to Uber Eats, but they cost a lot. Well, because you have to tip like five times. Yeah, in this the is service. Del- Taco Bell. I use Grubhub, and I just and they I cost do, a lot. No, all you do. This is the secret, Jordan. All, all you, you do, do is screw over the people that are trying to make a living. <laughs> all yeah. you do is just. I only order from the coupon place because whatever's couponed on there is like the same price as being there in the in the shop. The but check this out. Place. Check yeah, this out. They have like coupon no. deals. They no, like dude. Taco Bell. Of the day, day Taco Bell took it to the next level. Like, okay, we'll bring it out to you for free if you just spend more than ten bucks. And you're like, okay. So you just get like three combo meals. Okay, I, I and then bring it out to you. For I can free. get behind that. Yeah, I wonder what, what the Taco Bell car looks like. The Taco <laughs> Bell car, probably. Wait, there's some, a Taco Bell car. car. Well, I don't no, think I don't know. Like, like, like a Wiener Schnitzel car. It's not like the, it's not no, like the, it's it's not like the Swan Man. Do you think they have truck. a little thing on the That's top like Pizza Hut? Oscar Dude, Mayer, the big the, hot dog car. Yeah, Oscar uh, Mayer, that is. No, you know the little like you know the 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 like the Pizza Hut thing on the top of your car. This conversation is boring me. Oh. Well, because. Uh, once we started getting into not myself, I got <laughs> bored. Okay, let's get to the division uh, two. It came out. We got the uh, the gold package, so we we got the gold package. So we were able to the ninety nine dollar package, ninety nine dollar we one gold early. edition. We were able to play early. We played as of Tuesday. I want to get your reviews. Let's start with Mister McSpicy. First impressions, division two, go. Well, I'm sad that I forgot to talk about this on the show a week ago when I played the beta. Sure, because I was playing Anthem. And then I was like, I better play the beta of the vision because I probably should talk about it on the show, which is funny because I never did. Mm. But I turned on the beta and I had a hard time turning off the beta. It w- yeah, it was that good. It was that good. Now, let's go fast forward a week <laughs> and a half or- n- later. And now I have the full game. And I uh, am... Bl- I- I was not expecting much. For some reason, I know I I really enjoyed Division One. Yeah, but for some reason, I wasn't as expecting. It was kind of under the game. radar. Let's be honest. Destiny really trumped div- the first division. It was good. It was fun, but it was no Destiny, right? Destiny, I think, won that battle. I think so. Time. Yeah, I think so. I I think that's where most of the player base went. Um, oh, that's what, well. I went to Destiny, right? And left division, but I had I had like Anthem. I had uh, I had all these games come out. Black Desert Online. Black Desert Online. I had all these games come out, so I really wasn't you know too hyped for the division two. I played the beta, and I'm like, wow! And I was kind of it piqued your interest. It piqued my interest because of how polished and fluid. I'll be honest, the game was just like the cover system. I argued this with Jordan because he may disagree because he thinks gears. Has the best? Well, I I don't know. Yeah. Okay. I argue that the Division Two has the best cover system I have ever played in a game. Just to say, because Gears does did have the best cover system, and what you're saying is this trumps that. I feel like it does. Wow. It is. Yeah, I can't say that. I don't know. They're yeah. both good. But the fact that and it, it's yeah that it's the Gears top is up. good. Yeah. Gears is good. Yeah. I just think because the Division Two it has a range on the cover system. Way further than Gears, and it makes it so when you're cruising down the street or in a firefight, you can cover really far away. It makes it smooth when you trans- transition feels, in the cover system. And how too. it goes around, the how they do the corner turn, um, even sliding over the hood, which I think is a, an achievement, which you got to do, run oh, and slide over the hood. I didn't know that. Pretty sure that's an achievement. Uh, but it's just felt so good. Yeah. I was having way more fun than I thought I would, and it felt so good, and... I really like the division too. I I enjoy it. I want. I'm going to be playing it tonight. So cover system you enjoy. Uh, let's talk about gunfire. I mean the the gunplay. Gun how play. how is gunplay? Oh, it's fun. It's it's really good. Um, 
the guns I have suck, but then I found <laughs> then I find guns that I like. Like I really like kind of your I don't know what gun it is, but it's I don't like the rapid fire guns because I spray all over the place. Sure. Just they're you're recoil. wild. You're a wild man. I'm a, yeah, I'm 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 kind of a pop pop pop, not a yeah. kind of, you know. And I finally found a gun that actually is a single semi-automatic range kind of rifle, okay. right? So, uh but I one I like that. Um surprisingly, which is probably not surprisingly because winter sucks, I like how the game is in not in winter, but it's more you have more lush. It's more like in um I am legend. It's more okay, like that, yeah, yeah. where you have trees growing around. You may have a lion running around. Well, I did say, because I was watching Jordan stream it, and during his stream, I did say, I love that this is in summer or spring or whatever oh, yeah. it is. I love that it's not snow. It's not so dreary, right? It's, it, gives you, it gives you a sense of that there's life, there's a living world out here. In, in the first division, there was this sense of loneliness. Yeah, because winter sucks. Yeah. I mean, winter is fun for the first day, but after that, it sucks. I mean, I hated Forza when it was winter week. Like, piss me off. Uh, Jordan, you okay? No, I was laughing at you because oh. you hated Forza for winter week. Winter so. week sucks in Forza because you're stuck driving in the snow. I, yeah. Mm. It just, it's just cold, and it's just not fun. <laughs> no animals out. There's, yeah, there's no... You can shoot animals. You oh, can shoot animals in this that's game. That's surprisingly something I appreciate. I don't, Satisfying. I the first thing I did in the game, literally the first t- thing I did in the game was a deer came in front of me when I spawned and I shot it and it died. And I was <laughs> like, thank you. Attention to detail. Realism. I am not going to kill these animals anymore. But in a game where I can kill people, I feel like I should be able to kill animals. <laughs> yeah, right. And now, you know, I just so I how will not it, kill them. How, but just the option. So of it. campaign. How's the campaign? Uh. It's good. Yeah. I'm, I actually kind of don't know what's going on, really. It's kind of the oh, same there's, thing. There's, you know, dollar flu. People yeah. are dead. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I'll be honest. In these games, I pay attention to the campaign for the first hour. And then it's just like, oh, my gosh, so much reading. Skip, I skip, was skip, actually, skip, skip, at skip, the skip. beginning, I was actually really confused. Are we the same agent as in the first one? I can't, I can't because tell. Because all of a sudden, like, a boat ha- came. Oh, and I actually think I know what the boat is. But... All of a sudden, like a boat came, and that lady was like, "Go to Washington." Oh yeah, they just threw, okay. me, threw me in, and I was kind of I was confused. So I don't know. Are we the same guy? Someone uh, let me know. I'd like to know if I'm the same guy or if I'm a different. Like in Destiny Two, you're the same. I guy. I feel like we're a different guy. I feel like we're a different guy or lady. Yeah, or yeah. Whatever Whoever you want to be. Whatever you want to be, you can be that. I feel like I'm the a different one because that lady. I mean, she she was kind of she was glad that i showed up but she's real pissed at me at the same time but i don't i couldn't follow the story so story yeah. you don't care about but the gameplay and everything yeah that's, yeah, that's, that's kind of yeah, yeah. how these games now are. you guys had a chance to play co-op right yeah jordan tell me talk to me about co-op is how is co-op in this game uh, i it, it's fun it's it's really fun um is it built for i mean is it built do the mission scale yeah based yeah, on yeah. your so, co-op so basically wise? if you know you can play with players of higher levels and stuff and it basically averages everything no it out. doesn't average it goes to the top one. Oh, it goes to the highest player and then you get yeah. upped yeah that's right that's, so yeah it goes to the highest player yeah. yeah so no anyway co-ops i mean it's just like co-op was fun in the first one sure but, but there's not really much difference there but, but it bumps your stats above it bumps them up to that same level if too. You, the guy's like level 10 and you're level five right yeah it'll it'll push it up just a nudge or two no i think it's really fun i i think they did a lot of things right that i like what stands uh, out to you the most well, I really like the way they do. I think the map is good. I think the summer is a much better location. I think Washington D.C. is a lot better location. Sure. I like these zones. I'm more of a zone person. Uh, this goes back to World of Warcraft. I think it makes progression feel a little bit better. And when I say zones, I mean this area is one to ten. This area is eleven yeah. to sure. twelve. This sure. one, you know, so you're actually progressing through zones and it's transparent. Map. Yeah, yeah. One of the best features, and I don't mean like a jab at Anthem because I actually really like Anthem, and I I don't know which one I like better. But what it does have is I went from the main base of operations to a social space, which is usually the safe houses, and then back out to the open world. Well, no, no, so sorry. I went uh, from the main base of operations I know where you're going to, this. to the open world to a social space where I saw other players, then back out to the main world to a main mission, and there was not one loading screen. Boom, it is baby. one full open world. Now, do they do what they did in Division 1 where their loading screen is you walking through like the plastic nope. barrier? Well, nope, you literally walk 
I think in the that door. is the loading screen. So there's of. no plastic barrier anymore. No, there isn't. But I, there is a point where you are running from to the exit of wherever you're at. There's either a hallway or something. But I think what they did smarter was they didn't make you walk. In Division One, you had to slow down and walk. Yeah. And I think that kind of was like jarring a little bit. Sure. And then you're like, okay, it's loading. Yeah. This, I think there's just, they just made that area longer and more the air. You, like Jordan, you don't even know that. But yeah, because you're running. Because you're running. The game doesn't yeah. stop you at all. I think that is the loading section, but I think they were just like, let's just make the hallway longer and make it so they can run. Yeah. yeah. So immersion, you're not taken out and taken out. Or they're the just much more efficient. Yeah. This time around. I mean, yeah. who knows, right? No, the game is really, it's really fun. I think it's way more polished than the first one. I think the AI are smarter. They fight, I still think, better. What's, uh, oh, sorry. For you. No, no, I'm just... Joking. I was just saying what's cool about the AI is every, not every AI, but I'll give you two examples here. So some AIs have backpacks and like packs that are red. Sure. So you can shoot the AI in the face. That's a crit, right? In the body, whatever. But if you shoot their little backpack that's red, that'll actually explode. So they have like hit boxes within their hit you know what i mean like sure is that similar to like when you could blow up the flamethrower because you know, yeah yeah kind of kind of yeah yeah. what's the red thing that explodes i don't know just a bag of grenades i don't know oh okay whatever's in that pouch <laughs> yeah. the, uh, with the medic i shot his defib- hairspray hairspray no, no. bottles for example with the medic there's a medic enemy character i shot his defibrillator and it started shocking him and oh stunned, that's cool. yeah and, and he was kind of stunned for him that's really cool another cool thing is there's bosses with mini guns Okay. Um, and you know how they have like the chain of bullets going in? Yeah. If you shoot that chain of bullets, it'll break, and the boss will actually put his gun down and, and manually reload. So you can basically stand in front of him and keep stunning him because he'll have to reload his gun, and while your other friends can shoot. Like, it's really, that's really be, cool, yeah. That's going to come into place later when those guys are harder and you're doing yeah. a raid or something, right? And then, Mark just hit it. You got, eight, you got eight player raids coming, oh. and... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Are they already released or they're coming? No, they're probably coming. I, okay. I don't. I'm not quite at Endgame, but and by the way, their Endgame. I don't know if you guys want to talk about it. Yeah, go ahead. Tell it's, me. It may be spoiler ish. That's okay. Go okay. ahead. So the oh, Endgame. Hold on. You want, I'm gonna. I if it, if Jordan's saying it's wait. spoiler ish. No, no, it's not. No, no spoiler. No spoiler. Just tell us the mechanics of Endgame. I I can't. That's I what have he's to saying. Tell you what happens. Here. I'm gonna go. Like I don't know what happens, but I have on... to tell you the process of what oh, happens. Okay. 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 There is music I'm going to turn on right here. This means we're talking about spoilers. <laughs> so when that music is gone, spoilers are gone. The only spoilers reason, are gone because I watched the developers and their live streams, and they actually talked about Endgame. And credit to them, they're like, "That ah, it, let's just talk about it." And they're like, "This is what happens," and they just went for it. Basically, what happens in Endgame is you. So they're boasting a 30 to 40 hour campaign, right? Mm-hmm. So which is pretty long, right? I think it'll probably be more 20 to 30 on your hardcore gamer or whatever. Yeah, but. At Endgame, the story resolves itself, and it's like, oh, cool, this is great. And then something happens, and everything you did in the main story gets wiped away, and this other enemy faction comes in and just takes over the world. That's awesome. And then you have to basically redo, not redo, but like take back what they took, and that's kind of Endgame, and it's just including raids, dungeons, right, PvP, right? So basically they said, yeah, you're going to save the world, and then someone's going to come in and take it from you. Very cool. Very cool. That's cool. All right. And and thus ends the spoilers. I'm going to let it die out naturally as, oh. it, as things should be. Well, someone in chat mentioned this sounds like The Sims. It really does. <laughs> Balanced as Dude, things should be. Right. On top of this, the thing that Division Wait, 2 is... Are we done? We're done. Spoilers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. The thing okay. that Division 2 does well is I think it's their sequel so they know what they're doing. But yeah. I don't know if you noticed the very beginning, like four or five different Ubisoft studios worked on this game, right? Yeah. So, I mean, got a lot of resources at your disposal. But you have... Three Dark Zones, and then you have Dark Zone Rankings, Dark Zone PvP, which is its own game, essentially. And then you have Competitive PvP, which is the structured 4v4 with its own ranking and setup. I mean, there's there's a lot to do. They just have... They brought the content. Yeah. Yeah, they really did. And it's, it's hard because... I don't know if we're going to get into this later, but I think Division 2 has a lot of awesome features, and the gameplay is really fun. But I really love the setting of Anthem, and their gameplay is really yeah, fun, right? Like, sure. it, it's so... So before, it's hard. yeah, before we get to that, let's so criticism. Give me one criticism that you, if unless you can't think of any, but I have, I have, I have criticism. some for sure. They should have done a better job at letting me find where things are. Mm. That oh, really? sucks. How so? Well, it says you have a project thing or something. 
I can't find the stupid person in the base. You have these bases across the map, right? Just like Division 1. I have such a hard time finding the project person, and they're always like in some alley or uh -huh. on the other roof or something. They should have made it so I could find them easier on the map. Yeah. The main things they have, like main quest givers, those appear just fine on the map. And then I on the you know like the HUD, you can sure. follow that too. But there's other things that aren't on the map, and it pisses me off that I have to sit there and run around and try Basically to find talk to everybody. <laughs> talk to everybody. <laughs> That's super frustrating when you're trying to hurry up, suit up, put your pants on, zip up, and go out with Jordan to go kill some yeah. brosifs. No, I get what he's saying. So finding finding quests, finding things, well, items. The, yeah. It's just like because you can level it's up each area. It's not as intuitive. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. You can level up each area, and there are like mini quests to level those level things up. Like they'll ask for toothpaste yeah, and duct tape. We and, need tomatoes. Yeah, we need whatever. That person is hard to find for me, <laughs> okay. and they're not on the map. It bugs me. Yeah. And there are people like that, or like that around that aren't on the map on the HUD. And so I'm just, I feel like I'm wasting time. Yeah, sure. no, I get that. So. Sure, seems like legitimate criticism. Jordan, what, how about you? One criticism. One of mine, and I, I don't mean this in any bad way. I'm not an artist in any way possible, so I don't, I don't have any. <laughs> right. I don't have any this art is, capability. This is a good one. But these are some of the ugliest. Character models. Oh, really? I've never <laughs> seen in my life. Well, and you're coming from Black Desert Online. <laughs> which, which, which is beautiful. It's jarring. Yeah. They are ugly. Like, there was, <laughs> there was, and, okay, and everybody knows how much I love Skyrim. They had pretty bad character models, too, and these ones beat those. Like, well, they're, they're, I tried I, they're to, just... I tried to convince Jordan that it's part of the lore. <laughs> That the virus that killed everybody killed, made them ugly. Killed, killed, killed all the beautiful killed, people. Killed yeah. all the beautiful people. Beauty was, well, was a you know is on like the sixteenth chromosome or something. Sure. I don't know. It was targeted was, that chromosome. Uh, targeted that chromosome, and now everyone is. Oh, <laughs> you remember? <laughs> you remember the lady that we said would be good at baking cookies? Like she was the way she blinks at you. Like she, there's just it's creepy. There's huh? a lot of ugly people. Man. <laughs> well, oh, and some of the voice actors like there's a lady that I. Up, helped upgrade whatever. She is like a scary librarian. She should have been the scary librarian. Like it was, I just didn't feel right helping this lady. <laughs> and and this actually, so this other criticism I have, it's kind of the Battlefield 2 or Bad Company 2 criticism. I don't know what foreign people think of how Americans talk in their day-to-day -day life. Sure. But I tell you, man, and I, I don't care. If you want to swear, swear it up. But... I think there's got to be a record for how many f words you can say in one sentence. <laughs> really, you think like it's and you're just like, like what are we? That's why I don't know what the story is because it's all f words, right? There's a time and a place for a good yeah. f word, and they're Which, just like on the flip side, there actually make... was one hilarious cutscene. I wonder if they're like in the conference room, like writing on the whiteboard <laughs> how to make this a mature game, <laughs> and they're like, ah, eh, just throw in as many f words as we can in one sentence. No, I'm in a cutscene, and it's just like. Oh, is this the effing map? Oh, that's the effing thing. Oh, we got effing go over here. F. <laughs> and you're like, oh, okay. Yo. I mean, like, I don't. the librarian. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> but there was one time we were playing, and it was probably the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. We tried to record it. Did we not record it? <laughs> Anyway. It was so funny. I tried to record it. I On the flip it. side, you do actually get some good F words every now and then. Oh, really? So can I throw <laughs> yeah, it? Yeah, it We've been working on this. Like We died a couple of times, and we knew what was going to happen in this area of it's a level. You know, We're trying to clear out a building. And so there's this group of people walking through. And so we're all posted up. with Ready. you know They don't know we're there. And I throw this grenade into this group. <laughs> <laughs> and this guy and like it's completely the quiet because they <laughs> it's completely quiet because we haven't opened fire yet and you just hear this guy f you <laughs> and then they blow up and we laughed it was so funny and jordan was like well if that's the if i had you know three seconds yeah, before i, I die that's probably the best <laughs> yeah, way to come saying, out like, I mean, you can't get away from it <laughs> it was like it was thinking it was just like crying in the <laughs> and it was like in a distance <laughs> yeah, it's so funny yeah. well see like it like yeah. i said like I don't mind swearing, but you got to use it at the problem. Like that's that a good a place to use it. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not like we were laughing so hard. It's almost like the NPCs in this game. You need to know that they're tough, so they need to say the f word fifteen times. Yeah, to portray that. Yeah, and it's like, dude, no, what? No one talks like that. <laughs> yeah, it's, pretty, it's pretty And hey, man, I've worked in construction. Those guys have the mouths on them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's actually you hilarious. Learn, you learn the f word in several different languages. This game is worse than that. <laughs> Uh, so must buy McSpicy. 
Oh, I think it's a great game. I think if you like Anthem, if you like Destiny, if you like that style of... I mean, even if you like Diablo, this is like a third-person shooter Diablo in mm. a way, right? I think this is a must-buy. I think you'd absolutely love this Jordan, game. how about you? Must-buy? Yeah, no, it's, well, it's, I mean, it's a looter shooter, right? So Destiny fans... Anthem fans, I think they'll all like it. You know, it's just a looter shit. What's nice about this one is because I've, I've had a couple of mistresses this week, and two of them are Anthem and Division Two. Sure, it's nice. I, you know, how I talked about how like, oh, you know, Anthem and Division have the uh, advantage, or sorry, Anthem and Destiny have the advantage of being sci-fi, so they can sure. just do whatever they want. Yeah, um, it's actually kind of nice being. Grounded in reality for a change, right? And it's it's with ugly people, with really ugly people. ugly people who swear. Who, so yeah, maybe who that's why they who swear so much. Yeah, because <laughs> hey, hey, then maybe know, that's it. That's part of the lore. You don't know what it's like to be that ugly, man. <laughs> yeah. If you did, you'd swear that much. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. <laughs> but uh, no, I actually it, it was actually really refreshing to jump in after playing a lot of Anthem, a lot of Black Desert, which is the third mistress, right? Yeah. Um, jumping so, into something that's... I mean, it's obviously not like realistic, right? But it is more grounded in reality. Sure. Things are more like... Your ultimates are more like turrets, shields, stuff Drones. like... You know what I mean? Drones, stuff like that. So uh, it, Very cool. I, I like it. So there you go. A must-buy if you've been on the fence about Division... A must-buy from very, Spicy and Jordan. Fun. Yeah, I think they did a good job. They basically game. said, hey, this is what we did wrong. It's yeah. How do we fix it? They had a stuff guy this time. Very nice. Yeah. Um, last week, we had a community challenge that we did not announce oh, the did winner I, to. Did I win? No. No, uh. you didn't even get close. Uh, this community challenge was in <laughs> Trials <laughs> Trials Rising, which is a fantastic game. Uh. Spicy, you've had a chance. You love the Trials games. Trials Rising. It's another good game. It's yeah. another, up there, right? another mistress of mine. I would argue this is probably the best Trials game I've played. Yeah. And I've played, I've played the last like five games. It's a ton four, of four, four or five. Yeah. It's a ton of fun. We put up a community challenge two weeks ago. We th- forgot to announce the winner last week. Uh, we put it on Yellowstone. You had to get the top time. The top time was Mr. Percy, oh. aka the Perk. He came in at one minute ten seconds. Oh, I was one oh, minute nice nine. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it! He must, he must, he must, one minute ten seconds. Know, Congratulations! Minute Congratulations, Percy. Uh, one minute ten seconds has got to put. I haven't checked, but that's got to put him in the top one hundred. What am I? I think I'm like one. That's got to put him. Uh, it's up yeah. there. So that's 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 good. I got to one fifteen. One fifteen. Well, because I I I did it at the beginning. No. Of did the I challenge. get to one? Tw- I might have got yeah, to one twelve. I think you got further. I got to one twelve because I got I got to like one minute nineteen, and that was about it. <laughs> I got to 112, but super fun. Congratulations, Percy. Also, we do a Madden League. Uh, and if you want to be a part of the community challenge, if you want to be a part of Madden League, if you want to be a part of the community, come join us over on Discord. All of these things happen the on per- Discord. We have almost 1,500 uh, viewers on listeners or viewers on Discord. Members. Members. There we go. Yeah. We have almost 1,500 members on Discord. Come join Discord, x1bros.com, and hit the Discord button. That's where all these things take place. Crispy Creamer oh. won season two. He's the Madden champion of season two. Crispy Creamer, oh. congratulations. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Crispy Kramer, I've played the man. Uh, he beat me when he I played him. He's you? Good sport. Hey, he creamed me. Crispy. He crispy creamed me. Hey, that's pretty funny, Jordan. That was a really good one. I feel, I feel like I'm just on fire today. You are on fire. So Dude. congratulations. We will have more community challenges in the future. They kind of just come up as we think of them. Uh <laughs> <laughs> when we think of them. And so that's how that works. If you want to join the challenge or you want to join the Madden League, just head over to Discord. There's a Madden challenge. There's a community challenge channel in there. Uh, also, we do have an X1 Bros Clan in Division. Now, have you guys joined the X1 Bros Clan? Yet yes, we Division? talked to the lady that gave us cookies, the cookie lady. It's the cookie lady. So, Who yes, freaked me it's out. It's kind of not very intuitive how to do it, but okay. then once... And it's not intuitive because you well, don't know. It might be broken, too. Who well, knows? Yeah. That's a good possibility. Uh, but you have to go. It's the second base that you are helping. You have to help it through like three actual quest lines in the story itself. And then you get unlocked clans. And then in the clans, you search X1 Bros. And you have to send a request to that. Whoever is in Who's charge, ever charge of clan. So our clan is ran by Devout Cannon over in Discord. Big shout yeah. out to Devout Cannon yeah. and thank you very much, my man. It, uh, he, uh, yeah, he was trying to do everything before we knew that, and so 
it was yeah. probably yeah. really stressful for him. Oh, I'm sure which, it was. So we're very what's, thankful. Yeah. What's really cool is you can you can level up the clans. I, I think I haven't looked too into it, but I think there's like challenges that you can do to help yeah. level up and stuff like that. And he so, made me a lieutenant. I'm pretty sure. So. Oh, so if you too. want in yeah. the clan again, Discord, we have a division channel. Devout Cannon is the guy uh, to contact, but you can contact in in the division channel in our Discord. So now, did we? T- I, did, I I don't know, and I may be ignorant, which I probably am. Is sure. there a limit? I think we talked about this. Is there 50, a limit? I think. Fifty. Why do they do that? I don't know. I th- we're going to make multiple clans, well, yeah, obviously. I know. But remember, Destiny was a hundred. Destiny's I a mean, hundred. Do they just Guild I don't Wars? Know. Is Guild Wars? I mean, I, I or not Guild pro- Wars? Is Black Desert Online capped? I don't think it is. I know you have to level it up. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. I agree with Jordan. What's the what's like the bottleneck on this? I'm sure it's like are they? It's, do they I'm, have I'm, the data? Maybe it's, I, maybe it's something similar to like Vault Space, where you like. Like, I don't remember think Destiny so. How, yeah, it's maybe a it's name just on, on an Excel end, spreadsheet right. somewhere that it's pulling the database There's got to be something in Endgame or in the Dark Zone, for instance, where if you had too many players, you'd have too much of an advantage, right? That's got to be their thinking. It's a balance it's a bal- issue Okay, somehow. I can see it being a balance issue, but... Well, you're gonna get a, you yeah, but the thing is, is the dark back. the dark zones phase, so you can only take four people, and you may get lucky. <sighs> yeah, but there's got to be like, so for instance, uh, an anthem. Do, that's an, like that's like, all right, guys, we're all gonna hit matchmaker at the same time and see if no, we get no, in. No. You know what I mean? No, like, no. For, gotta, for instance, I bet you what happens is there's well, they like, have rewards. There's for like the rewards clan. for your yeah. clan, so oh, you could just if you have too many see, people see. in the clan, you it's too easy yeah, to get those but, rewards. Uh, you have too much. But that's kind of a but that's the thing, like like a Forza. You know, I mean, look at look at the sailing arc game with the Chinese yeah. versus the Americans. You want to be dominant. It's fun. Well, There's fun in domination. There is well, fun. Uh, yeah. World of Warcraft has guild re- or yeah guild rewards too, right? And I mean, you can have I mean, thousands so do, of yeah, players. So, so does, I mean, so does uh, Black Desert Online. Dude, Black. De- Let me tell you, I've been playing Black Desert Online, and we've been getting into guilds. Uh, shout out SS Evil. He's the he's one of the officers. He's been really putting things together for us. We've leveled up our guild. A couple times we now I think are at a cap of thirty. This nice. weekend we're going to hit it hard. We're going to raise that cap, but we get bonuses. We're we I think we added plus one gathering. We've done a bunch of gathering quests. We got five million silver in our guild. Eventually, what we're going to be able to do is take over nodes. And every time yeah. you take over, you can own two nodes at once, and you go to war mm-hmm. with the other people, PvP with the other guilds. When you own the node, you get like a tax of millions of silver a day just yeah. for owning it. So, that is so cool. Their really, guild system, I think, is one of the best. I really liked that one time when you spent money on that quest and realized you couldn't do it. Oh, yeah. That was funny. That you was spent hilarious. like 36,000 coins on that. I was that. like the guild funds. Yeah. Uh, no, it was my personal funds. Oh, well, it was oh. funny. Okay, so what that, happened? That makes it more funny. Is yeah. he bought a quest for everyone joining him, and you had to be endgame to do that quest. So yeah. you just... And it has a time limit. Yeah. It so was, he just basically... It was level 50 battles. So we're just gathering right now because no one's level 50. I think I actually What level are you now. right now? You're probably Also, we've there. we've upped everyone's contract. Dude, the way they do the guild system, too, you have contracts. So we started new players. If you want to get into the guild, head over to Discord, to uh, to the MMO channel in Discord. Um, new, new guild mates, they're on a 14-day contract because we've got to try you out. We don't know how much you're going to contribute. I'm on add a 14-day the- contract. But then after that, we put you on a one-month contract. That's right, a 30 day contract, baby. We can go up to 180 days if we want I'm, to. I'm on a 14 day contract. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Spicy's nice. not in the guild yet, but. You're not, you don't even have a guild. Oh, I got distracted WTF. by other games. WTF. David man. and I AFK fished the last week. Yeah, we AFK fished. It was great. Did the AFK fish? I went actually into my Xbox and turned off the setting to turn it off yeah, after David, a certain amount of hours. David did it the smart you, way. So you can have it off, but still on? Yeah. Well, so no. all I do is I energy, just put my, So you have it all, an your controller can dis- off. Your controller can disconnect, yeah, but as long as your Xbox is on, your guy just sits but there. But I mean, like, there's two power settings for the Xbox. Yeah. It's yeah. turn off, turn off, yeah. or kind of turn off. No, 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 no. no. And then the there's one, has to be open. Then there's oh, okay. one that leave it on all the time. Yeah. Oh, no. That's the, the power that's setting I was on. That's the American version. That's, that's the badass per- <laughs> yeah, version right there. 30% of the world's energy <laughs> right there. Uh, <laughs> that's, yeah. uh, that's the good way to, because what I did is I pulled my batteries out and just plugged in my controller so it wouldn't turn off. And oh, then yeah, David told me, he's like, you're just changing the little settings. <laughs> <Yeah. Whoa. laughs> Anyways, I'm having a blast with that game. Oh, it's so much fun. If you want to join us on Black Desert Online. Oh. I got a lot of money from that fish. I got a lot. Yeah, your fish. Yes. Well, because, can, can, because we're first in and the servers are separate than PC, the pricing is really high on yes, fish so right we're, now. We're exploiting you're the bank. market. Yeah. Uh, that's awesome. On PC, you can have it only catch rare fish. Or better. So I don't can know you if you do, do that, that on, on this. So the I'm way, not sure. I, maybe if you level up right now as where I'm at as it sits is you go and fish and you can fish manually if you want and yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. you can get, you know, 
better fish. But every three minutes, your character will automatically pull back and in. catch something. Yeah, yeah and I don't it know. May I've, not be a I've fish, only done right? it once, so I've not <laughs> dived in not that be much. A fish. Now they did drop a patch, which does give you the daily login rewards now, and you're getting yeah. black stones, which is for end game crafting weapons and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. So make sure you log in and get their your daily Speaking login. Speaking of bonuses. ugly character models, that black spirit. Freaks Hideous. me the crap out. We just Jordan and I just leveled him up to yeah. a little a little Pokemon to level. Six, yeah, six six, six nipple nipples. man, six, six nipple nipples. black spirit, yeah. the tuxedo. I call yeah. it tuxedo. He's hideous. The yeah. SNBP. Oh <laughs> hey, black sp- just so you know, S- David and I also tested fall damage. There is none. Well, there is, but it's like oh yeah, yeah. The, you, can, like you can jump fall off from a ta- like tower. Rapunzel's tower, and you just lose like that much. Yeah, health. Just, it's is, awesome. it a per, is it a percentage base then, or something? Or do we jump pretty high? Granted, I am a huge giant. Yeah, yeah, David like slammed the ground. Giant. That means you'll hit harder. <laughs> well, yes. I guess not. Didn't the feather and a hammer land at the same time with the moon? Pretty sure it doesn't Galileo. matter. Galileo. But no, but you have like more mass. Yeah, I'm heavier. Yeah. Are you? I mean, I've dent the ground. Maybe you I just run. got have more. Have you not seen my sword hammering thing? I'm up to his kneecap. <laughs> yeah. Well, you're the shortest character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's, anyways, Black Desert Online is super enjoying. Okay, yeah. so let me ask you guys this. Let's do. Let's do this. We're gonna go there. Division two. Let's do Anthem first. Is Division 2 better than Anthem? Or what's your preference? Either way, I want to start with Spicy, and then we'll come to Jordan. Spicy, give me your thoughts. Division 2 versus Anthem. Whenever you have games that are kind of sort of in the same genre, it's like, what's better, McDonald's or Wendy's? I don't know. Sometimes I want a spicy chicken sandwich, and sometimes I want a breakfast burrito, you know? Yeah, but I'd say McDonald's is better. Overall. Oh, I guess you have a point there. I guess I could choose. But it depends <laughs> on my mood. Uh, right? So that's hard for me because, uh, okay, I'm going to lean towards, I'm just going to lean. You're leaning. Okay. Towards, Slight lean. To, towards division. Why? Because it has no loading screens. <laughs> that loading screen's huge. For the immersion effect, right? Yeah. And Anthem kind of had excessive and I loading can shoot. Screens. I can shoot a deer. That is nice. <laughs> that is nice. What does, nice. let me do this. What does Anthem do better than Division? Uh, it has the badass af- appeal. Just the, the, the cape. I, I can the, wear a cape. The Iron Man suit. Yeah, the Iron Man suit. Okay. And that, I mean, that lasts for a little while, you know, the flare of being in an Iron Man suit and all that stuff. And, uh, yeah, I think that's, I think, I mean, it's just pretty. But at the same time, I like. What does Division do better than Anthem? Uh, no loading screens. <laughs> what else? What about polish? You mentioned polish earlier. Is it is it more polished than Anthem? Is it more put together? Yeah, uh, you're asking some pretty hard questions. I don't know. I, I mean, the cover system it, it is launched good. smoothly. Yeah. Boom. Well, right. did Anthem? Mm, Anthem well, had some issues. Anthem. There was. I mean, but that was not when the game was like official. Official, was it? No, there was. Well, I, it's hard to say because there was the looting issue and the quick play. Well, and then issue they did the day one patch, which caused other issues. Which they well, I mean, patch for the, well, other the division issues. did have a freaking fifty See, that's what gig I'm saying. day one patch. That day one, I, mean, I guess true. when you have that, that day one <laughs> patch fixed a lot of the problems that most people were complaining about initially. Yeah, yeah. So that, but there was the looting issue and the quick play issue that did. <sighs> And Division has the edge because it's kind of a new toy. Yeah. You know, we've had Anthem But for overall, a for you personally, you lean towards Division. I think so. Right now, at yeah, this point in time. I think so. Jordan. I like it. Division. But I like both. Divi- That's hard. Division or Anthem. It's like. Which, t- because this is going to be the natural comparison, especially right now, because those are the most. Can two, I have both? Those are if the you're, two newest. If you're showing me like two, you know, I get to choose. We're going on a date and you're, you yeah. can choose the redhead or the foxy. Only Hugh Hefner can have both. You have to choose one. Okay. Yennefer. <laughs> Which is Division? Which is Division for me. <laughs> uh, Jordan, Division 2 or Anthem? Which um, one do you think does it better? I, I don't know. I really am kind of like right in the middle with them. I, they both offer me different things okay. that I like. Like, for example, I like the the no loading screens. I like the the PvP aspect. I, I'm really excited for their end game like we talked about earlier. Sure. Um, I mean, I am excited for Anthem's Endgame. Uh, they, ha- they have the three strongholds, which I've replayed them a bunch of times, and I still have fun every team- single time. The gameplay mechanics of Anthem are just really good. Yeah. And the setting is good. I like the sci-fi setting, you know. I- Gun to your head. What? Well, what, do, what, what does... <laughs> and then you leave it at that. Gun, gun to your head. Next time. Gun to your head. You have to pick one I would, to play. I, I, would, I would die. 
I would just <laughs> you, no. you would eat the berries. No, see, I'm telling you, man. This week has been. I told Mark it's uh, like my soul has been ripped apart because I've been, I've been playing Black Desert mm. Anthem and and now Division. The Division. Okay, well then let me ask you the same thing. I asked Spicy. What does Division do better? Well, I mean, loading screens. <laughs> yeah, <the same laughs> That's thing. so funny. That's so huge for you guys. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. You know what well, Anthem does I'm, better? What does Anthem do better? Character models. I oh, bet by the badass feel. That's what, exactly <laughs> what I said. I got a cape. What about gunplay? Are they are they on I think they're both really, I think they're both really similar gunplay. I think they both have solid gunplay. So I mean Division they Division has the cover mechanic which is cool, but Anthem has the mechanic of getting uh, Anthem's the prob- vertical mechanic. Yeah, Anthem's probably quicker. Sure. Okay, quicker paced. Quicker gunplay. Do you think Division's more tactical? Or no? Uh I would no, say No, because I think the verticality adds Tac- tactical. Tacticalness. Tactical. Yeah. But I, I kind of... Well, they have those pocket knife guys that run at you and try to hit you. Yeah, those guys. That force you out of cover, I th- sure. I th- which makes it hard. I think... Well, in Anthem, you don't you can fly around, so you don't have to really deal too much with people that run at you with pocket knives. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Basically, the guys with well, the lightning Anthem, bolts. Anthem, sure. people have like ranged attacks where you, like even while flying, you do got to dodge and barrel roll. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like, I just know that... That's why di- I think Anthem's the, the quicker. Li- the lightning bolt guys in Division, they run at you and they force you out of cover, which... I just I- shoot them. Well, Before that's the me. plan. <laughs> <laughs> what do you? What do you think? I'm like sitting back, relaxing, having like you must tacos? be. Use, you must be using the wrong weapon. <laughs> that's your. That's when you use your chaotic weapon, right? Like, <laughs> what you, that's what I do. Like, uh, what do you? But they. But if you're not paying attention, you're shooting another direction. Then that guy comes at you. It forces you out of cover, and then you're kind of screwed. I think division is more tactic, tactical. What about okay? What about, because anthem you can fly and hide, and you know it's well, more, that's, more that's, forgiving. That's what I think is. Adds to the tacticalness, I guess, of Anthem. No, right? but you see, know? that's like that's always your out. You can just fly and hide behind some Mount Everest somewhere. It's the Iron Man suit. But what if the guy shoots you in the head while you're, you're, you're dodging? Or overheats you. Well, then you just dodge. You <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> well, that's all you do. You dodge. What I dodge? Why don't you dodge? What about AI? The bad guys. Ooh, are they on par with each other? Anthem and Division. I think, Who has I think that better? The Division has it better because they flank you, and like I'm saying, they set the AI up to make you make it harder, make sure. it more difficult. How many mm-hmm. times have we been dying trying to get from point A to point B? Well, let's be honest. How many times have we died in Anthem? You maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, you're pretty good in Anthem. Yeah. I can't say that. He's Jordan's the guy that actually you can count on. He, he's dependable. Yeah. No, no, yeah, I mean, so I, it, it, it's like, hard. I, they're both just, sounds like to me. He's Maverick in the end. What of, you're saying is of Top Gun. You know, AI, where, where I walk up to him yeah. and I say, you can be my wingman anytime. <laughs> AI, <laughs> Division does it better. No loading screens. Tact, tactical, it's more tactical of a game. Maybe the fun factor is where you're struggling with to separate these games. They're both, you, you have fun in both of them just in different ways. Um, well, can I say something? So Super Shocker says the AI comes from behind on the raids. I'm guessing you're talking about an- Anthem, like the strongholds, right? Sure. But the AI in Division, they actually... <laughs> well, apparently they, they just come through doors that you didn't yeah, know existed. They do, they do do that, too. Like, what the? But the, you'll watch them flank you. You can watch them running from cover to cover to go behind you, which I think is a very cool... Like realism thing. Mm, yeah. Okay, back to your question. I had well, to... I mean, it's it's hard because one of my favorite boss fights in uh, no, I'm not gonna. The division AI is mm. smart, right? But one of my favorite fights in Anthem is the air conditioning fight. You remember that one uh, where we fight the yes, spider? Yes, you have to shoot the. And it's got, that was and a fun fight, yeah. and that's where I feel like Anthem has an edge in that point because I, I mean. And okay, let me explain something. So you're fighting this spider boss essentially, sure. right? And all of a sudden he turns on the air conditioning. Sure. And you got to shoot the air conditioning. <laughs> well, this is funny. No, it really you, is. That's, you, that's how we explain it in the played, in rating lingo. <laughs> if you've played this, if you played this map, this is not. So this is not spoilers at all. This is just you're fighting a dude that has. Uh-huh. Oh. May, may, is this, so, this is no, no, so, no, 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 no. So basically, he, he turns he has, on the air conditioning. Yeah, these three big fans that spin and they shield him, and you have to kill those fans, turn them off. While and that's when a lot of the ads come out, so you got to kind of thing. And then as the fight goes on throughout the phases, those air conditionings get upgraded to better air conditioning. And they have like shields around them, so you got to kill that while dealing with the ads. So it's hard because I think Destiny and and like Anthem in these scenarios, like sky's the limit. I mean, 
they got giant air conditioners coming out to shield this guy. Right? They have I cool mean, mechanics where and that and that fight that you're more limited in a division. In division with, with I mechanics. can see that, but you know what I mean? they're adding it in by shooting the guy, the big guns, little. You know, he mentioned it. The big guy that chain. has the chain yeah, gun. Yeah, yeah, no. And then, you shoot the ammo, and then he drops it. And then, I mean, he's a bullet sponge. You just sit there and shoot him. But maybe that comes into the fun. Like, that, out of all the three strongholds so let that me are ask you this. one of my favorite fights, right? So. Let me ask you this. And Brent Diggy in chat mentioned this. What about loot gratification? That's that's the mainstay of these games. It's a gr- loot grinder. Loot gratification. Division. Anthem. So, Jordan. getting into the spoilers of the news, now that the patch has dropped for Anthem, I think they're both on par. The the thing is, is is what Division does well is Division came out of the gate strong. Yeah, they, Anthem, hit, the, they hit the ground running. Anthem struggled and then tripped. I wouldn't say tripped. I just think they were distracted by the hot girl in the crowd, they, and then they're like looking they veer, over. They veered hey, out of their lane. They're waving because I, I like Dash in Incredibles. Uh, He's like running and looking at his family, <laughs> like, like I almost, all suave. I almost that feel, was Anthem. I almost feel bad for Anthem because I think they got a lot of reviews that I personally felt were unfair. Right. Sure. Um, and you'll notice Division's getting a lot. I just think it was the smoothness factor. Let, I mean, let's be honest. Anthem did have a few server issues, right? Yeah. Uh, the loot system was kind of broken, which they fixed after this week's or yeah, this week's patch, last week's patch, which we'll talk about in the news. I think loots are on par. Mixed by C, loot ratification. I mean, um, I think there's more in the division. I mean, you have like your, you have more things to put onto your character. Like they, you put your D pads, your gloves, your shin guards. Well, I think it's more visible because in if you look at Anthem, you have seven components that you put in, in addition to the your two weapons, your two ability, your and your three yeah. abilities. Oh, I just thought of something that I don't like about the division, and I can't get away from it in any game. Oh, yeah. Okay, what is that? Loot crates. Oh. I freaking hate those. Anthem doesn't have any, to my knowledge. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's ding <laughs> division. You know what game has it that I'm like, I really like the game, but I'm really upset about it? Didn't you get legendary sunglasses, though, or something like that? I got like that? legendary shoes. Yeah. Trials? <sighs> yeah, trials. I have not opened one crate in trials. <laughs> that... It should not be in trials. Well, that's all just cosmetics, what, though. What Mark is talking care. about, what Mark is talking this, about, is every time you level up in the division, they give you a crate and you can open it up. Get this. So how the how, how any crate system works is it's like a there's a chance to get a certain item, right? Sure. Well, what, once you get a good item, the stats reset, and so basically, if you get if you open thirty crates, you're guaranteed to get a legendary. Sure. And then after that thirty. Then it resets, and then you it, you could get it sooner, but eventually you're going to have to get it by mm-hmm. how their system is set up. I got a leg- I opened one crate, which is funny. I got a, <laughs> a, a legend. Was it one crate or two? I can't remember. I was opening the crates just to get them out of my stupid. It Inventory. has an exclamation mark, <laughs> and I'm OCD. Yeah, it bothers me. Too. So I have to get rid of these crates, and I got legendary shoes that no <laughs> one will ever see. But don't they give you like and a defensive boost? Didn't or you anything? get better pants though? Because you had poop stained pants before. They gave me poop stained <laughs> homeless people pants. Yeah, but don't you get a defensive stat boost or anything no. like that? They're all cosmetic. It's just cosmetics. Oh, yeah. that sucks. Did, are you? Uh, didn't I get? Is it all cosmetic? Did I not? Get, Those loot crates were. They have. I don't I, know. I, yeah, I, I, I think don't they know. have. I, I didn't. I just. They have them. loot crates for <laughs> weapons and and stuff too, right? Because, I don't know. Yeah. So you're not a fan of the loot. The loot I demo. don't think they. You don't like surprises. I believe they should be in some games. I.e. card games like Hearthstone. Sure, sure. Because sure. it's a card pack. That's yeah. what you're buying. Yeah. Every other game, absolutely not. Leave them out of my game. I'm mm, sick of them. Not a fan. You should uh, write a letter to your senator. Okay, you know they, what? They take, so, they take loot crates very seriously. Do. Okay, so just to, just, just to wrap this discussion to up. Senator. Division versus Anthem. Senator. McSpicy <laughs> gives the lead... Slightly to division is his mind. We both enjoy both the games. Yeah, Jordan can't decide. Jordan enjoys them both equally. Along with Black Desert. Along with Black Desert. So there you go. Make your decision. If that's if that's what you guys are wondering, division or anthem. There you go. Hope that helps. I don't think uh, let's let's get to the next logical question here because these are the games that are all going to be compared. Anthem versus Destiny Two now. Anthem I'm, or sorry, division. division. Division versus Destiny Two. Which one does it better? Let's start. Let's let's do this backwards. Let's start with loot gratification. Jordan. Well, I mean, Destiny Two has just cool stuff. <laughs> yeah. So do you give the do you give it to Destiny because of that? 
Loot gratification? I mean, Destiny, let's be honest. Destiny is well, the, the golden boy here. Destiny I would, is I would the give, standard, right? I would, I would give Destiny the loot gratification. Now, I'm not at Endgame, so I don't know, but... Destiny has the the like in World of Warcraft when you'd grind and grind and grind and you finally get like you know they like they have actual legendary names. The names so. of the yeah, the way like yeah. something that Ulsfad, the sword. You <laughs> yeah. know what I mean? Like you're like Ulsfad, oh, man. A sword of a thousand truths. Yeah, exactly. And you're <laughs> yeah. like, oh yeah, finally I got the sword yeah. of a thousand truths. Same with it, like uh, I remember and I still to this day I don't have it. In Destiny One I wanted was it Fatebringer? The yeah, hand cannon that, that shot blew the, up, yeah. When you shot their heads, it blew up everybody around them. Yeah. Awesome yeah. gun. And that, like, I wanted that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's that loot factor of, like, that's a cool so piece de- of, you know. So, Jordan, it sounds pretty clear Destiny does the loot gratification better. Mick Spicy, in your mind, you agree with Jordan? Des- or Destiny? Now, or Division in loot now, gratification? Now, being fair, I haven't played, like, Forsaken or anything like that. So, I mean, sure. I don't well, know. You know. And do they have that? I haven't gotten to that point in Division yet. I mean, the game's still new. When we hit Endgame, are we going to find weapons like like that? Well, the thing is, is, I don't know if Division can do it because you're like, ah, Chris's rifle. The SMG. You know what I mean? Like, no, I think that you can because Chris was probably some douche that ran the taco stand that's, well, that's now killing I people, water, you know? and he's he's legendary there. You <laughs> yeah, know, but- that was his taco stand <laughs> in DC. And he had a very specific. Well, because remember, like the big gun in Division One for a while was the Vector. It yeah, was just the used Vector. It. Everybody, you know used what it. I mean? Like it wasn't. Yeah, be- because they're st- they're. Like we talked about earlier, they're kind of handicapped by their sense oh, of but they realism. Can do yeah, that. like the the thing in real, you know. Yeah, they Chris can have is like Vector, Vinny's Tommy Gun. You know, <laughs> and you're like, oh yeah, I got Vinny. But is that as cool as the Sword of a Thousand I Truths? Know. Vinny was in the Mafia. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. they can. I just don't know if they. I do. think Division has like the grind of like I need a better gun. But see, they also have attachments, right? That you, yeah, yeah, you it's, more, it's more uh, legendary attachments in division. Yeah. yeah, so you can get more stuff, and those can be, if I remember right, those can be rolled to different stats, stats that you can. So you can totally deck out yeah. a weapon. And I'm not saying division in two multiple is ways. bad, but I mean it is cool, like Fate Bringer. You know what yeah. I mean? Like so, yeah. wanting that gun, and you know, but yeah. The Winchester. <laughs> so, so McSpice, John Wayne. So, Winchester. Mc, so Peacemaker. Jordan, just yeah. give me, just give me an overall division. If if it's division and Dest or division two and Destiny, which one do you pick? Dude, that's a really hard answer. Like right now, it would be division because I kind of step back. Like I, I never played Forsaken, not because I wasn't interested in it, but because it didn't interest me as much as what was. You know what I mean? Sure. Like, sure. So I guess by default, division because. Destiny two didn't. Destiny two didn't keep my attention as as much as you wanted it yeah. to. McSpicy, how about you? What what do you think? The strengths. What of am I doing? D- Division two versus. Dude, I Destiny stopped paying two. attention like thirty seconds. Ago. <laughs> Division two Still versus. Still thinking Destiny about Vinny's two. hand cannon. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking about and the taco how- truck. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the taco truck. <laughs> Division two versus Destiny two. I'm gonna say Division. Really? Yeah, I'm gonna say. Division. What does what puts it over the top for you? Um. Well, Destiny two. I felt like I I burned through it way too fast and there wasn't so much later. It, sure. It's and r- this has potential to, uh, they have their end game I haven't gotten there yet so it's hard to say. Yeah. But from like seeing the map that the they have map? in front yeah. of me, it looks like it's going to be a good end game. It's just there's it's r- with several different ways to do the end game. It's sure. hard it's really hard to choose and explain because like like in Anthem or Destiny, let's we'll talk about Destiny, right? Destiny, like De- the goal of the game was everybody was trying to fight and kill Gull, right? Sure. If you take World of Warcraft, the the Lich King expansion, the whole world was aimed at getting this one bad guy out, sure. right? I like that style. You know what I mean? Like I I like the like, hey, we're doing this to get rid of this guy, right? Division doesn't have that aspect. They you got know? Vinny. But Destiny does. You know what I mean? So sure. it's hard yeah. to choose. Like, they, this game has stuff I like. This game has stuff I like. You know what I mean? Like, Yeah, it was. I mean, like, the Taken King and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, like, yeah. And you're like, you're remember like, when we went into the we, raid and we took down the Taken yeah. King? The Taken King, you that know? whole end boss when you had him and he was huge, you know, yeah. m- moving around the map and you had to jump to and all that And I think that that's stuff. just the setting of that game, right? But then you go to Division, which is more grounded in reality, which, like I said, was very refreshing how will they de- I'm very interested to see how their raids are yeah because I being 100% honest 
I was not all that impressed with the uh, what were they called the incursions yeah, in the division, division 1 division 1 didn't do I it. mean they were fun they didn't well, do they it were, very well yeah De- destiny versus division 1 destiny all day with with strike missions and yeah. incursions and stuff yeah. like that so I'm very interested to see how their eight player raids go but the thing is, is division it's smooth they have so much content the content is fun yeah. you know what i mean it's just well there you go i don't know if that helps you if you were if you guys are the type that are looking at destiny That's or fine. division honestly, 2 honestly the best answer is you just got to buy the game but honestly all of them. yeah <laughs> and play them all yeah. and smile <laughs> honestly what a great <laughs> time to be say. a gamer though if this is your style of game you've got options and you've got three great options so there you go with that shall we get to the news already let's get to the news <laughs> jordan tell us what is happening in the world that is xbox 1 this week. Well, you got probably the original looter shooter was teased. Looter this week. Sh- looter shooter. The shooter looter. Ah. Yeah. Borderlands Border 3. Land. Oh, that's right. Would you, would you call that? I mean, remember when Borderlands came out? The con- It was Do- like, oh Border- my gosh, this so- game is cool. You're playing with your... Because remember, I felt like it was like... it's Because I felt like when I first played the first Borderlands on the 360, yep. I remember playing with both of you guys. Oh, it was so And fun. I felt like, man, this is like... Almost that mixture of World of War. I mean, it wasn't MMO. Well, there you, was no social spaces. It was only four player co op, but it was an RPG where you got loot. You got over one gazillion different types of weapons. Bazillion That's guns. what I love. That, didn't they advertise that they had 2.4 million variations? No, of I weapons? was like bajillion William. I thought it was millions. It was giant. Back, back then, it's millions it was were random. A lot. Yeah. yeah. Back then, millions were a lot. So, but uh, no, anyway, I mean. Borderlands think about three it, was Destiny before Destiny. Yeah, like that's that's the best way. They to put had it. they had boss fights. If you look at Borderlands two, which also came out before Destiny and all that, right? I mean, they had big boss fights, fun. They had one of the best villains of all time, in my opinion, Handsome Jack. Oh, yeah, Handsome Jack, Jack is good. Cool. So, so Borderlands three was teased. It was teased because Gearbox, See, but that you could and you would get in that game, you would get Handsome Jack's pistol or whatever. Yeah, you would again, him. you know what I mean. You would get those cool weapons and reward get rewarded in, mm-hmm. in that way, right? So Borderlands three, they teased it. Gearbox sent out a picture. The picture shows the date of PAX East, uh, in which Gearbox is having a uh, panel, and it's rumored that that you know that game was so fun. It's going to be interesting I'm to excited. see. I mean, what does Borderlands have to do? Well, let me ask you this. Did. Well, let me ask you this. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah, so Borderlands 3 was four player co op, essentially. Yeah. Do you. Borderlands. If, what if, what if, so Borderlands 2, sorry. Yeah. If Borderlands 3 comes in and tries to do what Destiny does, where it's this always online, always connected, do you want to see that from a Borderlands? Or do you want to see well, Borderlands mean, disconnected, removed, like Borderlands 2 was, where you're in this single-player world that you can then do hyper-co-op with your friends? Well, I think you can do it both ways. You know what I mean? Like McSpicy Spice, is vehemently disagreeing with you. Oh. With a hardcore yeah. head nod. Well, because I think it'd be cool to have... Because, I mean, dude, there's some... Well... I don't know, cause in, see, this is this is what what do you do? Do you because in Borderlands you had four classes that you couldn't change, right? Do you yep. let yourself customize a character? Is it more class based? Is it only like do you have a social space like if the tower? Because I wouldn't mind something if like you the tower. go that route though. Don't you just take away what was unique for you? Don't you just become uh, that's just des- a cartoon destiny, a cartoon division? But those character well no because they were full characters like Salvador and Genji. Big spicy. You you think that they should not go the always connected, always online route? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just thinking of like any MMO I've ever played. It just by the nature of MMOs, you go kill a mob and they appear three minutes later. It totally takes out the immersion factor sure. for me. At least in Division, they run out of a cave. You know, <laughs> they don't just. And I think that's just the pro. That's for me. That's one of the issues I have with MMOs is that immersion factor. I mean, whereas when we when you play. The game with your friends, it's not like that. You kill a guy, they're dead, right? Until you reload the map or whatever, they don't keep coming out. Sure. I feel like that makes it so they can control the immersion a lot better. Mm -hmm. And I feel Mm -hmm. like Borderlands is really good at at, so you want your them friends and, and to stick with what they're good at this separate four player co op, yeah. four player co op, single totally player fine. world. I like I like how Borderlands has done it in the past. Maybe they can do it a different way where it opens up and where you can see some random guy doing a jig on a rock somewhere sure. but that kind of ruins the immersion for me i like the control that a co-op game would have and couch co-op and the xbox live couch co-op essentially i think 
allows for more fun interaction with the world and with your friends and everything. I think that con- it's a lot easier for them to control that in a way that. Yeah, I agree with you. I think that if they go the route and try to do this always connected, always online thing that division anthem, I think they just that. They, they're not unique. Nothing sets them apart. They're just another one just of those games. Easy. Whereas if they stay with what they're good at, like you said, I think that's what sets them apart. That is Borderlands. This crazy, zany alien world with these crazy guns, these Pandora. crazy over-the-top characters that you can go in and just blow away with your friends. While I think that's their co-op. strength. I agree with you, Mixed Spicy. I think playing, you stay. Yeah. I think you stay with uh, yeah, them. But you keep the four-player co-op. Keep, oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. That, that's I mean, that's what why, was fun, yeah. That was one of the first games that did that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's why it was so fun. Yeah. I super. mean, the first one was good. The second one was an incredible sequel, which, by the way, Borderlands has the best, in my opinion, best DLCs oh, slash so expansions good. out there. So good. Super Shocker in chat says, uh, Borderlands is like Coke. Don't come out with a new Coke. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Therefore, they invented the formula. Other people have been adapting their formula their, to their game. Their like, boss names were hilarious. Oh, they're so funny. It was a funny game. Division took a lot of inspiration from Borderlands. Sure. Oh, not Division. Uh, Destiny. Destiny, Destiny yeah. did. Right? I, I think they, they're, well, the, they're the OGs. Yeah. I think they just do what they well, do. Well, they basically took that model and said, "Let's make it. Let's 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 apply an MMO model to the Borderlands model." Whereas Borderlands keeps it separate, and I think you've got to keep it separate. That's what I want to see from a Borderlands. I 3. agree. Yeah, I think Jordan's wrong. <laughs> well, I never. I said. <laughs> I know. I'm I just saying. I said, gonna, you know, what? I what, what, like what, I what can feelings. they do? You know? I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. I was. I was merely asking. Do you? You know, still play they games do with a social tonight. space? No, I don't think do they do. You do you I don't think you do any kind of social space beyond. Letting me press X to connect with my friends. Yeah. yeah, that's called yeah, and that's Xbox Live or PlayStation, whatever you have. You know, you're just think it'll be on the Switch. No, oh, no, I don't. Okay. You don't think it'll be on the Switch? Let me think. No, think it'll be on uh, mobile. No, I hope it's not on mobile. <laughs> well, if it's on, no, I don't. I really don't want it on mobile. I really don't. I was gonna anyway. say. Additional to I don't know I don't know I don't think no. they teased no, I don't. <laughs> they teased it so hopefully we'll get some cool answers on uh, what was it sorry March something we're just gonna go with that because I'm on the March twenty eighth thank you um, Anthem so Anthem had their update we kind of talked about this already Anthem uh, came out with their big loot update basically what happens there was kind of two updates one earlier this week I think it was last week on like Saturday or something like that and then yeah. there was one that just happened just recently so the first big update was the one everybody was waiting for when you are at level cap which is level 30 you will no longer see white or green drops everything will be blue and higher yeah so uh that's- well that was a big problem because after last week's episode I saw a tweet from um quick. And he said, I've played this game for hours and got one legendary, like, like insane hours, like eight straight hours. Yeah, and only got yeah. one rare or legendary <laughs> item. When you're quick, can't you just like log into your VPN <laughs> yeah. to, and then just <laughs> like make a couple take, calls? Yeah. Say, copy and paste a couple lines of code. And, say, guys, I need some more. I need some more weapons. <laughs> yeah. dude. <laughs> yeah. So, no, but yeah. Then I know it was a legitimate problem. Like people were playing for hours and not. And it wasn't paying off the, for it, them. They wasn't because I look. I don't. I don't mind the grind. Like, hey, I had to do this dungeon, you sure. know, a few times to do it. But you got to find that sweet spot for the grind. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. So, but anyway, that patches out. So, if you're level thirty, you will. You should no longer see whites or greens. Everything level thirty will be blues and above. Right. Boom. Also, uh, earlier they did a server side update, Ooh. which basically master work and let that was I think this was yesterday or the day before, but master work and legendary drop rates have been increased for Grandmaster two and three difficulty levels. So, that was that's good. That's yeah. good. They're, they yeah. So master work and legendary drop rates have increased for Grandmaster two and three. It's important to know that because those are the two higher level uh, level difficulties. So two and three have been increased, legendary and master work. So. Yeah. Um, also, Masterwork and Legendary Drops have been increased for harder enemies at all levels, including Legendary, Ash Titan, and all you know the different enemies. Yeah. But uh, the big one is you know two and three, and then you know enemy units. So Boom! Anyway, pretty it. cool. So I'm really excited for this next news story. No Man's Sky. Oh yeah, this one was kind of fun. Yeah, uh, this was uh, No Man's Sky Beyond is basically the next big content update. Word on the street, it's going to be a similar size and scope to the next update right which so basically uh, fixed no man's sky yeah which uh, that probably sounded weird but no man's sky next is was a big big update yeah. that came out it's when it launched on the xbox um they have come out with like the abyss update which basically made it like uh 
Subnautical, you can go underwater. Subnautica, yeah, yeah. Subnautica. Yeah, which, well, I mean, probably not as in depth, right? But you can go underwater and stuff like that. And then they came out with another patch. But the next patch, which is slated for, is it slated for March or just a little bit later this year? I don't know if they set a know. date. But anyway, ignore that part. But No Man's Sky Beyond, uh, basically, it's it's teasing and an, an extended online mode. It's a very short trailer. It shows a hangar. So Would basically, maybe a social space. Yeah, I don't basically. Know. So the weakness in No Man's Sky, No Man's Sky, super fun, right? They they really brought that game back, fixed it, repaired it. We played it, super fun. Big Spicy really dived in, a lot of fun. It's like an elite dangerous game, right? I mean, yeah. that's just it's like an elite yeah. dangerous substitute. It's a more arcadey elite dangerous. I would say. Yes. Um, the problem is we we tried to do a community play. Where we wanted to all this this is our planet. We've discovered this planet. Let's make this planet ours. You really couldn't do it. Ultimately, while you could see your players and do some online. When aren't you locked to what was it? Was it were you locked to so many players per session? No, you just couldn't you just couldn't do it. Like like if Mick Spicy was on that planet and was my friend and made an update to his house, if I left the, the our session and came back, I don't see anything. It's yeah. like an empty planet to me, right? So basically, multiplayer wasn't a thing. Beyond is changing that. Beyond is making it possible to link up with your friends, to actually play online, to to do these cool things that we were trying to do with community play. Yeah. So that's super exciting. Well, re- it seems like it's going to be because like you were able to like you and Mark were able to get in the same world and do stuff. But like yeah. you said, if you left and came back, like it was just. This seems like it's going to be more seamless, I guess. Yeah, that much more like, seamless. Everything's I think more basically organic, you're going to be you know? able to do more stuff multiplayer with your friends. And also maybe a lot more people. Yeah, it, also it's just... a free update. So that's super exciting. You don't have yeah. to pay for this or anything. Which is really great. So this one was this one was really fun. So jumping into Apex. Octane. So uh, there has, and this is cool. This is actually exciting. So just like Fortnite, which I'm glad Apex is doing, so they, they added something to the map. They put in random jump pads around Boom. the map. Uh, they fortnite Fortnite. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> so uh, they put in random jump pads around the map, and rumor is that this those jump pads are the ult for a new character called Octane. Octane. So they're basically, yeah. So basically they put those in the game to kind of preview that he's coming next. <coughs> Super exciting. Which is very cool. And we yeah. should actually be having the battle pass coming out. Is it later? I believe it's sometime this month. Probably like the last day of the month. Well, but, uh, going right along with this Apex story, I mean, Spicy and I were talking about this during our pre-show workout, which if you're... If you uh, have ever experienced a workout, there's nothing like a pre-show workout. Mixed by yeah, we, we were at the gym before we, the show. We get it on every week. But <laughs> oh, Apex Legends, EA paid Ninja $1 million to stream Apex Legends. Really? At launch. We were talking about that. Yeah. Boom! Wow, that's huge. And what we were talking about is just that that shows By the way, have you seen important- his new streaming room? It's really cool. Oh, yeah. We were talking about that, too. I think oh. Red, Red Bull built it, or he's either using a Red Bull studio or he, he goes it. occasionally like out to Red Bull Studios. But, yeah. but it shows, McSpicy and I were talking about this, it shows that streaming, don't advertise on commercials. Don't. Your audience is in Twitch. Your audience is in Mixer. Your audience is on YouTube. Just get influencers to stream your game. A million fascinating. Do- yeah. A million dollars well spent. Yeah. I think it's worth it. Well, yeah, dude, I, I do. I well, that was that was a shark, and and they probably did it with others as well. Oh, yeah. The thing is, is it but worked because fifty million a lot of people are playing. Yeah, fifty, 50 million, million people players, are playing player Apex. base now. Yeah. A lot of people are still streaming Apex. Big names too. Oh yeah, it well, goes it goes back game. and forth. What what it matters is who. Uh, what I've noticed is it matters who. Like if there's two or three big guys streaming, so two or three guys would be streaming Fortnite in the middle of the day. That's in first place. Then two or three big guys are teamed up streaming Apex. That's that's big. And I never checked, uh, but they might be partnered as they might be partnered as well. It's just being paid now. How much? This is my question. Apex paid Ninja a million dollars to stream Apex. How much did How uh, much did Fortnite pay him to go back? Because <laughs> it's a good game, and yeah. he wanted to get better. You could when you watch him, he. He actually kept playing it. Didn't after he say that. like, "I'm going to play this game more"? You yeah. Know, like, well, he said, "I'll he probably eventually go back to Fortnite." Which and then is Fortnite funny. got on the phone. And they're like, "They're like, oh, why did you see what Ninja just check- said? We got to uh, pull out the checkbook. Well, how much? How much? I don't know. Ask him. Ask him That's what he wants." That's funny. That's like if going you're to if, an- if you're if you're in that position and you're loving Apex, I want to care. And Fortnite life. comes to you and says, "Hey." What do we got to do to get you back in our game? What's your pri- like, what's your price? You already like, know Apex paid you a million dollars. Now Fortnite what? Fortnite is gonna be like you know the informant that you go to and you pay. You know, I what? want I would want another million plus a character model. <laughs> no, I'm just, so you, you know want like a character model yeah. in some fantasy world you go to an informant and you go like okay what's the info on that guy? Sure. 
and then you pay him triple and say if he asks anything for more then you you know then don't screw me don't yeah. tell him anything yeah. right this is like Fortnite now just learned that we pay him triple next time <laughs> yeah. so he doesn't go anywhere yeah. else next time a big game launches we just got to up that price don't screw me and this is an extra you know couple hundred billion just to not screw me next time <laughs> Uh, Anyways, it's super funny. I, th- I like that story. I know I saw on the internet. The internet gets mad at everything. People were mad that Ninja was a second one. I don't have a problem with it. I think it's super good. I think it's... You know, what's it's, wrong with playing a different it game? It is the new model of advertising, and I think it's fantastic and well done. Congratulations Why to were they mad? Apex and like, to Ninja. Like, what were the comments? This is ridiculous. No, you played I'm, a game. I'm pretty sure it's people trying to get clicks on their websites. Uh, yeah, yeah I, think, I do think it's that. Yeah. So... Anyways, I just a million dollars though. Holy crap! For playing a game Anyone for a couple pay, of days. I tell you what, Apex, Spicy and Jordan hey. will play that game for two fifty, two yeah. fifty thousand. Yeah, it's Each. a deal. No Each. character model. Each. No character. Model. No character model. That's, yeah, and they'll play it for two months straight. Twenty five percent off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well done. We're your uh, budget ninjas. Battlefield yeah. Firestorm. Yeah, speaking of finally got uh, a launch date. Speaking of battle royales, Battlefield Five Firestorm has a launch date. It will launch on March 25th, so not too far away. The day after your birthday. Hey, look, they got my you birthday is March 24th. Yeah. Uh, so if anyone is a millionaire <laughs> or if EA is out there, <laughs> yeah. we, are, we already just sold out. The last story we just sold out. Yeah, Are we I'm selling, selling out, out again. Okay. If anyone out there is a millionaire and would like to give me a truck for my birthday, <laughs> I'm down. A yeah. Raptor, a Ford Raptor. Yeah. That's like a. You'd make my. You'd make my whole life. So uh, Raptors PO are Box, scary because they're send so fast. It, send it to PO Box nine eight four, Farmington, Utah eight four zero two five. The keys. <laughs> the keys. Oh, go I pick can... it up, and there's keys. That'd be so cool. <laughs> yeah, that'd be yeah. so cool. A PO Box. So, oh, you're the one with the Raptor. Oh, there's a Raptor out back <laughs> for you. Hold on, let me drive it around. We couldn't oh, fit in the box here. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, happy birthday to me, Battlestar, Firestar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, David, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what you want to hear? Next, next Sunday. Yeah. Next podcast. Happy so, birthday, uh, yeah, that'll be uh, yeah March 25th, which I believe is a week Monday or something like that. But anyway. It's 10 days from now. Well, I Yes, have- so... It's going to launch with solos, duos, and squads. Uh, they did release a trailer, which is very cool. The trailer actually showed off a lot. Um, it basically showed vehicles. It's So your squad drops. It looks like you can kind of travel. I I was under the impression maybe you just jump out of the airplane and your parachute sure. launches right away. But it does look like you can kind of point and land where you want. Uh, and then it did show people going into buildings. The destruction is definitely there. It is. It showed a very cool feature where someone shot a flare off and an airstrike came down. Yeah. Or an artillery strike, you know. Whatever you want to call it, can I throw? It'll, a s- oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. I was going to say it'll support sixty-four players in the battle royale mode. Wait, do we know wow. for sure it's doing sixty-four players? Yes. Okay. I mean, the engine is built for sixty-four players, yeah, yeah. so why I didn't. I didn't know that, that we knew that yet, but that makes cool. sense. And yeah. I like that it's not a hundred. So I'm it doesn't not, need to be a hundred. You know what I mean? It's I'm not. Well, we know that. from Apex that yeah. it doesn't need to be a hundred, right? I think so, that's a good. I think sixty around sixty is a good number. Fun but. fact: This Firestorm is actually developed by Criterion and Ooh. not Dice, which is interesting. Criterion, I recognize. Just another, I recognize Criterion. Um, what they, they helped do? out with Battlefront too. Oh, is that it's it? It's an EA studio. They help out with uh, probably a lot of EA Maybe I just games. remember it's, the it's logo. EA, yeah, it's yeah, an okay, EA okay, studio. Okay. They're the guys on the bench that got to come off. You know. Now this, by the way, this mode. I think if it would have launched with Battlefield, it would have been a different story. But I think this mode, by the sure. way, is where you put all your weird stuff, like the oh, prosthetic arm, the, prosthetic the arm crazy stuff, paint, yeah. all the this. I this. I mean, obviously, they messed up with marketing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the difference. Criterion hasn't really said anything, which I think has done good for them. But uh, basically, this mode. I mean, obviously, a battle royale is not a real realistic. Sure. Mode, right? Everybody, no one's mad that they Battle did Royale. Is... Oh, oh, very there you good. Go. That's there you where go. I know them from. Right? Dude, they're legit. It? Well, didn't yeah. they do Need for Speed? I Need for Speed. Yeah. Yes, yeah. They there did. you go. Yeah. So uh, I knew I recognized them. Oh. Anyway, so no, sorry, no I one's, totally threw like, you The off. thing is, is no one's really. I mean, there are probably some some people because the internet. No one's really upset that this game mode is coming out, right? No, here. But here's my problem with this, and here's where I'm going to criticize. It's too late. Like. I don't. The trailer looks I don't, pretty awesome. I don't dude. think there's a market for this right now, though. I think Apex came out. Well, granted, EA owns Apex as well, so I don't think EA really cares about. It's putting too much. Like you're either in Battlefield or you're not. Firestorm isn't going to make that difference for you. If you're a battle royale player, you're playing PUBG, Fortnite, or Apex at this point. So 
I just, I think this is an afterthought. I think they're treating it like an afterthought. I think it's too late. I think they had their window back when Battlefield launched, when it was Battlefield and Call of Duty coming out with their battle royales. That's and they when said not to buy her. That game. yeah, that's what they I told. think that's when they could have struck with this and really seen. That's when it would have been interesting to see what kind of battle royale. Mm-hmm. At this point, it's too late. A- Apex Legends, Fortnite, or PUBG is where battle royale. Think, is that being said, the trailer there is vehicles. It and, is cool. Yeah, and the trailer did look fun. I mean, it is Battlefield destruction and sound and and gameplay and you, in a battle royale, which is always fun. But I'm saying, engine. what I'm saying, I don't know if we get this version in next year's game. That's what I'm saying. At least as a standalone. If it is, it's just tapped on into the game. I think I sort of agree with you. Cool. Interesting. Yeah. Well, that's it. Well, and know, that's it. And well, that's no, it. What, what do you sort of agree with? Well, I think Battle Royale is not necessarily uh, a standalone, you know. Sure, sure. I, I think Battle Royale is just you have free-for-all, you have it's team deathmatch, and you have Battle Royale. I think it's just... I think it's yeah. I think it's the evolution of Team Death. But don't you think that the plan for this is the same plan that I think Call of Duty had, um, in that this was going to help sell their game. And in that respect, I think that Battlefield yeah, and that's really the messed kind up. Of agree with you. Yeah, that, that they just completely messed up, and it's like, eh, okay, there it is. Yeah, I think there's a window, and you have to. Hit, I I agree with you. I think there's a window. I think that most games should come out all at once. I really don't like the. Training mode, not being able to play training mode at launch. <laughs> yeah, that that yeah. But this battle, this version of Battlefield Five had some had some issues. That well, and it's a shame because like it's I such said a good before, game. The gameplay is fantastic. The mechanically, I think it's the best Battlefield. But they really just uh, they done deft up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I I think that's true. But I think I don't think Battle Royale. I think Battle Royale is just a different game mode that is a lot of people enjoy. I don't in the words, like. I'm excited to play. In the it. words of Division Two, they effed up an effing great effing game. Yeah. F <laughs> 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 you. <Yeah. laughs> oh man, sorry everybody for David's. But hey, if you bringing do, this if you family do, show rating to T for T, if you do have kids, just think about you know when you, before you buy them Division. It's very there. You go. Yeah. Hey, can I before before I move on? Can I give a shout out though? Uh, we did this. The pre-show, everybody that's before in, that, yeah, before we record, yeah, uh, I did get an early birthday gift from Dark Knight, and I just want to shout him out. Uh, this pretty sweet. This, if, for those of you watching, this is an X one Xbox One controller wooden stand. The controller sits on it, and it looks awesome. And my name is on it. It's engraved X One Bros. It's so sweet. Yeah, I can show it off here. There we go. There we go. Uh, anyways, big thank you to Dark Knight. Uh, really appreciate it. Also, huge thank you to Garrett Gardner. Um, he's the one that creates this and sells them, and he is a fan of the show. He does listen. He's in Discord. He joined our Discord. Interesting story. Dark Knight said he called him up to get everything right, probably to get the name correct and the engraving and stuff, just how he wanted it. And the guy was like, X1 Bros. I love those guys. <laughs> it was so random. So that's oh, really cool. So, so cool. thank you very much. I appreciate it. An early birthday present. That's going to be amazing. It is Geek yeah, Products. It's super cool. It's super cool. So go check out Geek Products. I, I love I love that stand. It makes it's sexy. Now, now I have to get the white Elite controller. I have to. There's absolutely no choice. I, actually, I have the Duke. Can Do you think the Duke can fit on that? I wonder if the spacing's correct. Love the Duke. Oh, the Duke would I be cool. The Duke can fit on a semi truck. By the way, <laughs> let me tell you what the Duke is. Let me tell you what the Duke <laughs> Let me tell you what the Duke is good for. When I play, when I'm big hands. when I'm watching the children <laughs> And my two-year-old is sitting there with me. I give her the Duke, and she acts like she's playing because it lights up. And, oh. I'm, and I'm actually playing. I got a good two and a so half hours in of, what you're of saying game time. Is you lie to your children? Ah, uh, yeah, all oh, the time. Okay. I just I, you know, I get stupid. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, either one. <laughs> um, <laughs> there you go. Thank you very much, though, guys. Halo. Yeah, Big the news. the Master Chief Collection is coming to the PC. Boom, which is pretty cool. It is able to play it on the PC, but the yep. big one. I mean, it's coming to the PC. I don't want to, you know. The big one for Jordan. I yeah, know Jordan's I talked about this game well, before. Uh, I have indifference oh, really? feelings about this game. Really? Um, and it's coming to the PC, which is really cool. And also for Do you both, mean mixed feelings? You have mixed feelings? Well, about about Halo Reach. We're talking about Halo, Halo Reach. Halo Reach is coming. Halo Reach, Reach announced. Inside Xbox is coming, announced it. Yeah, is coming to uh, the Master Chief Collection. What's really cool about this is actually now every single Halo game, one every single Halo game is playable on your on Xbox One. Collection. We should go back on your and Xbox do Halo One. Reach. Spicy. 
We should yeah. what? Go finish Halo 5? Halo Reach. Yeah, if you play the campaign, oh. you'll know so why, is it, you'll is know it why I order, don't like it. In order. So the way that it's releasing on the PC is it's not releasing in one um, no, no, bulk okay, yeah, game. So, so let's it's get releasing into that. Yeah. in order, chronological order of game story. So Halo Reach is first. Then Halo Combat Evolved is releasing second. Um, I don't know. Uh, here we go. Our current plan for this journey is to begin with the launch of Halo Reach, the fictional beginnings of Master Chief Saga, blah, 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 which they screwed <laughs> up. Uh, with the rest of the titles following in chronological order. So Which basically is, exactly what you just said. Yes, Halo Reach. The reason that I know this is because I do a daily gamer news show called Gamer Daily News in which ah. we talk about this every single day. Yeah. Gamer Daily News, go check it out. <laughs> Ten minutes or less, you get your news. Nice in, plug. And this sultry voice. <laughs> but what's really cool, what I think is awesome about this is it's, uh, you got Halo Reach, Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, Halo 4, and you have Halo 5, which is its own standalone game, yeah. Uh, and then soon to be Halo Infinite, whenever that comes out, all on one place. That that's what that I think is cool. Is cool. You that know is what really I mean? cool. Um, so out of then these... there's a Spartan Assaults, which you can play, but I suggest not. So let's say I'm a PC player or I'm uh, the Xbox. I've never played Halo before. Which of these games should I look forward to? Especially these side ones. So never played ODST. ODST, I think, has a fantastic mechanic that didn't screw, or sorry, fantastic story. What about that uh, didn't screw anything up? Halo Reach had really good mechanics, and the multiplayer was fun, but the story messed up everything. Oh, well, really? Sometimes. And you, you've read the book, right? The Fall of Reach? Yeah. Yeah. So this is the Fall of Reach. Oh, okay. It's wrong. And oh, really? I like the book for... Well, I don't... It's wrong. I don't technically they know... They just ignored the book? Did they George, well, R, did they George R. Martin their game? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it like... just ignores the it's, book? It's starting out, and you're like, okay, okay, okay. Ah... Uh, you know, and you're kind of like, you're where, like uh, where are they going with what? this? And then the end comes, and you're like, no. Was it that they're trying too hard? It's like, well, guys, you tried too hard. I don't know if they were trying to tie it into the first game, which maybe they were. I don't know. But it just, if you, I, I, maybe, a question. I, maybe I should look up which one is actually canon. But I prefer the Fall of Reach book okay. over the story, sure. over the Reach. If you were to have not had any exposure to any of the other story, would you think the story, how they presented it, and how you Yeah, because you everything? do start, technically, you start with this one. Yeah. This one is first in the mm -hmm. Correct, yes. The if I didn't know what really happened. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so if you didn't read the book. Yeah, if you didn't read the book, you'll probably like it just fine. Okay. I, and look, it, Reach is not a bad game. It's it's Mechanically, it's actually really fun. Sure. And they did do a good job it's with it. Multiplayer that, was really fun. It's a story that it, you're it complaint. Yeah. It's the, they introduced the DMR, which was fantastic. I think Reach introduced the DMR. But anyway... Um, no, it was it was fun because they had the Spartan the armor. They had the Spartan armor classes like sprint. As, as funny as it sounds, sprint mm -hmm. was actually a class ability. Like it, not everybody had sprint, right? There was armor lock, which was like a shield. But the multiplayer was really fun. It was that classic Halo <sighs> with kind of the class system, but still that high level of skill. That right? was the first time they did the class system. Yeah, it, right. Yeah, yeah, because it was kind of the next game that was competing against the modern Call of Duty. Yeah, you know very what I mean? cool. So. But uh, if you have read the books, especially The Fall of Reach, because that's what this one takes after, I was really disappointed because it doesn't follow it at all. Here's a question. Have you ever read any of the Jason Bourne novels? Uh, no. Okay, because I have, and I really like those books. Uh -huh. And I have also read, watched the movies. Yeah. And I really like the movies. Huh? They're completely different stories. I, like, way no, different. No, no. Yeah, yeah. And I like them both. I think no, I'm, no, no, I, and that's no, I, that's fine. The only and, thing the same is the names in those. In no, those no, no, I, I get you. But uh, this one, I prefer the book story over the game story. That's why I, I think if you haven't read the book, the story will be just fine for you. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's just a lot of little things that they changed that I felt take a, took away because. The book, it, it, there's just okay. some things Fair that they enough. changed that I felt that they took so away. Do I mean, I don't, was... I don't hate the game. I just think uh, they messed up the lore. Okay. Because now, who, who do you choose? What do you do? I don't know. Uh, but uh, anyway. Boom. I, I'm, I'm really, I am really excited for Reach. I think it's going to be a fun one. My favorite campaign, though, in case anybody was wondering, yeah. is ODST. Because I, the way they tell the story, I think is really awesome. Because they start at different time Because you basically, you start 
with the drop, right, of the ODST, and then you jump basically way over here, and then you jump back. I love it when they basically, do that. Basically, you start at Telling, both ends, using and you, time to tell you the almost story. meet yourself in the middle, and then the end kind of I love it right? when they do that. It's just a really cool way to tell the story. A lot of people, I feel like, didn't like it because you were they called it like a watered-down version of Master Chief. But, I mean, that was the point. You, you weren't You're Master Chief. You're an yeah. ODST, sure. which is like the next step under Master Chief. That's on one of the reasons I like, like... Orbital Mr. Drop Shock Troopers, in case you were wondering the acronym... Thanks, Jordan. You're welcome. They drop from low orbit. I like Mission Impossible 3 because they start out in the middle just, of the movie. Yeah. yeah. No, that yeah, makes yeah, it really yeah. cool. Absolutely, mm. I agree. I like James Bond because he's a badass. And Nathan Fillion's <laughs> in it. <laughs> That's why I like Jason Bourne. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's cool, too. He's a badass. <laughs> and he doesn't even know he's a badass. Best fighting choreography uh, in a movie. I do. When you can make... I would disagree. Oh, really? What? what? Okay, hold oh. on. I got to ask you a question. When you can make fighting with a newspaper lethal and cool, or how can you disagree? Or but that's not choreog- choreography, is it? I guess yeah, technically, yeah. I guess it is. It's all he killed dance. someone with a newspaper. It's just the violent dance, but it's a dance nonetheless. Or was it a book? What, 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 is, book the or be- a what is the best movie choreography? Because we're not talking TV shows. Because Daredevil wins that hands down. I right? think it was the same guy that did the Bourne series. Yeah, <laughs> the Daredevil scenes were so good. But movie the hallway wise, scene. Oh my gosh, I. Can't stand up afterwards after I watch that. It's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Movie wise, what is the best fight choreography scene? Matrix I'm, is pretty good. I think Matrix is legit, but I think I think the Bourne series has got to has got to have have that. They it's good. I think they do a little too much camera shake. Okay, you know, but it's still good, and maybe, I like it. Maybe it was just the blows of Matt Damon. I gotta say. Like within the last five years, a uh, good old man that had lost his dog. <laughs> That's what Freaky says in chat. Freaky says, oh, he's in chat. Oh, John, John Mr. Wick. John Wick. John Wick. Gives you hope for mankind. <laughs> <laughs> best. So that's best uh, I, fight choreography. I would also say, now this is going to sound weird. he's the one. He is I, the one. I lived through it. You can't it. pick Neo. <laughs> you can't pick Neo. Well, I mean, no, John Wick is basically Neo's origin story, <laughs> I, I feel. It's actually like literally the same character. He doesn't talk much. No. He does amazing things. Yeah, I don't. Uh, John Wick is so. Oh, my gosh. He's so cool. It was a good. Yeah, um, I, I'm excited for chapter three. I, I lived through this. And that the movie at the time when it came out, it like changed my life with. Uh, martial arts movies mm. and it actually i'm pretty sure it changed mar- how martial arts were choreographed with that. john wick no 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 i'm talking about another movie that i haven't announced oh, yet okay oh. uh, like crouching tiger hidden dragon okay yeah oh, yeah they run on trees they run on trees that's i've never seen that in a movie before no i don't uh, think anybody's ever done it since uh ants ants did, ants that. did a bug's that? life did that as well <laughs> that's yeah. all you're saying a bug's life has the best choreography <laughs> and when that dude scene. when that dude flies into the bug zapper Whoa! It's so Watch out! Close my mind. I don't know. <laughs> I just I I think the Bourne movies are really good. I just think you know you got to respect your elders. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and then look at all the Jackie Chan movies. I would like Mr. Nice Guy. I'm pretty sure is it Mr. Nice Guy? It's the one where he fights on the roof with the guy uh, that kicks. Rush Hour. <laughs> rush Hour. But see, Rush Hour. No, is Rush Hour is a really good and movie. Rumble in the Bronx. Rumble in the Bronx. I believe that is the latter. I don't know. Jackie Chan has some good. And Chat Freaky says uh, Bloodsport for some sweet '80s choreography. <laughs> that one's dude, terrible in all the right spots. Bloodsport when there's flower in that dude's eye and his face. It is in, in what's right. his face, Jean Claude Van Damme. And he's just like <laughs> yeah, in when slow he can't see. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, then he, and, then he, and then all of a sudden, and you can see it in his mind. He's like. <laughs> and he just like is like I must center my chi, huh? and he just. <laughs> 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 and then he's ready to fight, and he fights him and blind. He's like, uh, and, and then, then the guy pushes the ref at him. He's like, "No, that's not the guy." Yeah, yeah. He's like, "No, that's not. No, I can feel that cheese. Blood good." Sport. And then he gets on his. He does his splits, and he goes <laughs> right in the chest. I remember watching that movie with my friends over and over and over, and we would rewrite, rewind the fight scenes because <laughs> so good. I always you, when wanted- you're like thirteen. 14. Yeah, that we would play awesome. in the, we would wrestle it in the front yard and everybody would be someone would always be the monkey dude that like jumps around. <laughs> yeah, well, we did yeah, yeah. that too and on the I, trip. I, I always I was always the wrestler guy. I always just like threw people. Is ah! that like universal that everyone our age had fight scenes of blood sport when oh, we were yeah, growing it was up? So good. That's, so good. Because I did that too. Yeah, That's the good. monkey guy. Hilarious. Yeah. Dude, okay, here we go. Cartoon fight choreography. Jackie Chan. 
No, I think uh, Wait, I think Airbender. Mulan. No, I think Airbender. I think Air. I think Airbender. Mulan is. Totally I think Airbender does a pretty good job with the fights. Uh, but I think the Titan. What is a uh, Clatton? What's the Titan show that we watch with Aaron? Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan has the coolest well, fight scenes. Because okay, I don't know if you guys have seen the the no, season I haven't. three. I haven't. No, I'm on season. I finished two. It's with Levi. It yeah. goes into Levi, dude. He does something. That's cool. Again. He like, he does something again that's bad. Okay, well, okay, the first time I knew Levi was the greatest character in forever when he beats the crap out of Aaron. And everybody was like, what are you doing? He was like, oh, I'm Captain Levi. And they're like, oh. What do you mean? I'm Captain Levi. Well, no. what he? D- oh, it's so because he beats him up to prove that he's like, yeah, I can kill him. And oh, that part. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah, like, like, they're basically like, oh, we, 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 that's should, what we should have a yeah. whole like podcast about that scene. Well, bonus. The bonus But show. there's stuff that Levi does. With his ODM gear, and you're like to, to dude, like murder people. Dude, ODM is Captain gear Levi is the like the origin story of Master Chief? Do you think? Probably, kind of. Yeah, yeah. I J- can see that. Name's John. And then Levi? I cannot, Levi. I cannot wait. <laughs> I cannot wait until there, there's one part in the manga where Captain Levi. You're like, dude, Captain Levi is the biggest bad I've ever he seen. He is pretty. Dang and awesome. then yeah. he does something in the, and we're not to it yet. It's got to be in the next season because we're getting close to it. But he does something. I wish I could tell you guys. I want to tell you guys. Can I'm excited. You? No, don't no, tell us. No, 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 he no, does, no because that show I love to watch. He he does something in the manga, and you're just like, whoa, oh, whoa, yeah. You you kind of put the book down for a second and take a walk. Wow, it's that big, yeah. huh? Because oh, it's dude, like I'm excited. Holy. Okay, can we can we blow through these last three oh, yeah. stories so we can get to questions? We get these are big news stories too. Minecraft is on. It's coming to Game Pass. Yeah. This so what's a, funny is this like was announced in, in, yeah. at, on Inside Xbox. But Minecraft is coming to yeah, Game Pass. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Which is like, I wonder like who doesn't have Minecraft. Yeah, no, right. If you don't have yet have Minecraft, now you can get it for yeah, free. Yeah, for Game Pass. On Game Pass. Well, not for free, but for Game Pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the coolest controllers I've ever seen in my life, the w- Xbox Wireless Controller Phantom oh, White Special yeah, this, Edition. This one is cool. I this like this. Controller be- so they had another sexy. one. I think it was the darker version where it showed up. I like this lighter version better. I Dude, think it just, it flows better this with is the controller. Sexy. If, 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 oh, it's white and it goes into like this gray, see-through electronic it's like, button looking Yeah, it's thing. like... The con- I think I'm getting the it. controller's half naked, and it's just kind of like a ooh. You <laughs> know, I, th- I think I think we should all get it for our five year anniversary. Yeah. Okay, I'm down. Boom. Done. All right. Done. Done. Boom. Woo. <laughs> five year anniversary, Yay. which is next week. Everybody, don't forget to join us next week. Five year anniversary. Yay. We're having some special events. Anyway, white controller, very cool. Phantom controller. A uh, big one is uh, Xbox Live is coming to iOS and Android. So basically yep. what this is, is it's not like your Xbox games are coming to iOS and Android. Um, there was So there's Microsoft Studio Games, which actually will be changing to Xbox yep. Gaming Studios or uh-huh. something like that. But um, those games on your phone, like Minecraft and, and stuff like that, did have Xbox Live achievements and Xbox Live services and stuff because yep. they're all connected. Basically what it sounds like, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, is uh, basically the Xbox Live service is coming to iOS and Android, so developers that develop games on iOS and Android have the capability to use the yeah, Xbox Live service. Yeah, they have the option to basically use the Xbox Live service, which means achievements, uh-huh. which means all kinds of... Basically, it means integrating... So maybe a little your Pokemon Xbox Go achievements? Yeah, it, huh? means, it means integrating um, your hey, mobile hey, hey, gaming hey. with Xbox you Live. You walked three miles, ten gamers. But it's up to the developer to use those tools I so think, they choose. I think this is a stepping stone, uh, a... I don't know what step we are in this thing, but to getting streaming on any device. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. I think this is a step. Yeah, they're setting up. That. They're setting up the ecosystem for that for yep. sure. It's yep. the first page of the book. Yeah, it's, it's page one. Yeah, no, it's absolutely. The Forward. Boom. Yeah. There Forward you go. Forward. That the is the news for this week. Let's get to the last segment of our show. Um. Okay. Okay. There it is. Sorry, David. No worries. Sorry. <laughs> this is a segment of the show don't, don't where we me. take your questions. To submit a question, all you have to do is head over to Patreon every single week and submit a question to the mailbag, x1bros.com forward slash support or patreon.com forward slash positive gaming. We'll get you there. First question comes from the man. You can't see me. He says, do you, oh. <laughs> he says, do you guys think Microsoft is currently doing enough to overtake Sony next gen as the leader in sales? Why or why not? Let's stop. Let's start with McSpicy. McSpicy, you just McSpicy. McSpicy. Let's start with Spicy McSpicy. Mm-hmm. Uh, you just mentioned you felt that this move uh, that we just spoke about in the news for mobile is a step in for the future, a baby step. 
Do you think that Microsoft is doing enough for next generation that's going to take off uh, What in the next two years? We're going to be in the next generation console. What do you think? Are they doing enough? Are they not doing enough? Uh, so, yes. Yes, you think they're doing enough? Uh, yes. I think we are approaching... Uh, okay, I have an analogy. Okay. I just thought of an analogy. Give it, give it to me. The E3, when the Xbox One launched was Empire Strikes Back for Microsoft. They lost. They got Oh yeah. They, they got they, they were they were defeated. They were defeated before it even started. They were defeated. Yeah. It was also, you know, the Avengers, you know, a lot of people died. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They lost. Yeah. We're approaching now the return of the Jedi. <laughs> and they have been tr- they have been strategizing for years. I like years. this. I like this. We are approaching Luke Skywalker is now a badass. I like, I like That's Phil Spencer. Yeah. Luke Skywalker is Phil Spencer. He's before we learn that he became an old man and drank some alien milk and, r- and raped yeah. aliens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Animals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this we're approaching Return of the Jedi for, Ed, uh, for Xbox and uh, they have been making moves this whole time. There was a, f- you know, between Empire and J- Return of the Jedi, we kind of don't know <laughs> what happened to Luke. Sure. But all of a sudden he went from, you know, I'm going to buy some power inverters. You know, he went from just that to walking into Jabba the Hutt's palace, not even giving... And he, killing a rancor. He, yeah, without even, like, eh, I got this, you know? <laughs> yeah. He, Hold he, my beer. He just walks in, and he points that guy, and they slam against the wall, and points to that guy, and they grab their you know, neck and point it. He's just doing whatever he wants. That's Phil Spencer. They have been making plays that we haven't been seeing in the background, which we've seen a lot in the foreground with... All the purchases of the studios, the moves we're seeing like Xbox Live coming to iOS, that's a stepping stone for streaming on any device. Uh, all the the streaming box, all this stuff. They're, I mean, they've made moves that they're now the most powerful console. Yeah, right? and I and I think I do think they retain that. I know there's rumors about what Sony's going to include, and Sony's really upping their game as well. But I do believe that Microsoft will again retain. You just, yeah. th- I don't think they ever want to lose that battle again. We had the Empire the Strikes. most powerful console. We had the Empire Strikes Back, and now we are approaching Return of the Jedi. And I think Xbox is in, they have been planning this for a long time. They don't, I mean, nobody likes to lose, and they have been yeah. planning this for a while. And I actually think Sony has kind of gotten a little lax in some things. They're actually doing things now that I think are helping, but within that like four year period, right after E3, uh, was it like 2011, 12, when, when that hit for like four years, they were just like riding a wave sure. that, of that. Right. And I think they kind of got lax a little bit, but I think they're making good moves sort of now. I think they're improving, but that's four years allowed Microsoft to do a lot of catch up work and strategize and plan. Yeah, I think it was Ryan McCaffrey from IGN that said he's never seen Microsoft this focused since before the 360. And we know how the 360 went. So Microsoft hit it out of the gate. And I, I think you're right. Now, there is you a, learn a lot more from a loss. Yeah, now I, win. I would like to address there is a criticism. There is a split among Xbox fans. And I've seen this criticism quite prevalent here of what, if they're going this direction, which I do think they're going to. They want. They keep saying we want two billion people to play our games, right? We want everybody on all of our, all you know. We want to bring access to gamers wherever you are. They're going to be selling, you know, Xbox Live on your mobile mobile devices is just one step in that direction. A lot of people are saying, well, what about exclu- what about exclusives? What about the console? Are you not? Are you going the way of Sega? Are you not doing this? And there's a concern. Hey, I'm a I'm a diehard fan. I want a high quality console, and I want exclusives. Exclusives are what sell games. I. I understand that criticism, and I think that it's a valid criticism. I think it's a valid concern. However, I think two things can be true at once, and this is what I think people who hold that criticism maybe overlook. I think you can be everywhere and also have exclusives. Now, where they argue is that, yes, but I don't have to buy your box in order to play that that exclusive. And my argument is, and I bet... Take this to the bank, everybody. This is my prediction. I think Microsoft's sales pitch is going to be the best place to experience that game that you can also experience on your PC if you want. You can also experience it on the Switch if you want. Wherever Xbox Live is, you can experience this game. But if you want this game at its finest, 
that most powerful gaming console right there is where you're going to experience it at its best. And I think the two go hand in hand. I think in the next five years, we're going to see a huge shift in gaming. I think gaming in five years is not going to be anything that it looks like today. And I think Microsoft is on the cutting edge of that. And I think whoever wins, whoever is pushing the envelope in this direction and, and is first into the market, they win this next generation of console. And I think Microsoft is the one leading the charge. I really do because they, they they took a hit. They took a hit. I mean, I they got I beat. My PlayStation PlayStation did it right. PlayStation has every. I mean, they have a library full of fantastic games. Microsoft really didn't have any big hitters this console generation. I mean, both of them still had successful sales. PlayStation just had a lot more successful. Just like when sales, Rocky right? lost to Mr. T. Yeah, he had to go back, train, he and trained, get better, and, and become yeah, the best that, Rocky ever. There's actually probably a lot of movies that we. But can, I yeah. but I do think. I do think that's the future. I think they are on top. For instance, I will compare it to, to I, I don't know what I'll compare it to, but I just, I just think it's the future, and I think Microsoft, I think two things can be true at the same time. I think you can still focus on consoles and exclusives and have exclusives that sell your console while at the same time trying to be everywhere. Like I don't think the two are mutually excuse, exclusive, and I, I, feel like, I feel like people... Um, just don't see the fu- that that's the the future is inevitable and I think that's the future. Okay. Then you agree with me? Yeah. Oh, I completely agree with you. Yeah. Okay, Jordan, well, let's finish with you. Sorry, were you um, go ahead there. Do you think Microsoft's done enough for next generation to to beat Sony? Well, well, I mean, I think I think they've done a lot of good things. I think they're more public with their moves, right? But I think that's because they have to be. I mean, I just, I mean, I don't think Sony's stupid. Oh, sure. You know yeah. what I mean? Like. They got to see, like, Microsoft has momentum right now. A lot of people are excited for a lot of these new things. I mean, a lot of people think skipping E3 is a bad thing, but why are they skipping E3? You know what I yeah. mean? Like, what what are they going to show? Because they're always going to come back and show something. You sure. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, what? So I just... Or they hold their own press conference to announce their... Yeah. You know, well, their what's interesting system. about Microsoft making all these moves is, like I said, I don't think Sony's stupid. They... They're number one, right? Or they they came out number one for a reason, right? Because they made the right decisions. So Microsoft is now making the right decisions, which is then well, okay. Let's explain it like this: Sony came out of the gate number one because they made the correct decisions. Microsoft had to change and adjust to get back on, you know, sure. to try and get back on top. So now, what's really exciting for me is what is Sony gonna do to change and adjust, right? I mean, it's yeah. the whole you know competitiveness, right? Well, when a push comes to shove. It's it's I think high. Microsoft is making a lot of right moves right now. Um I'm I'm still one of the ones that's like Yeah, you don't know how I'm you a, feel about I'm afraid to give the f- give up your foothold in the living room yeah. to sell more. You know what I mean? Well, like what's yeah. what's that implication going to be? I mean, I'm going to support them because they support me, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's they, an, they haven't done me wrong yet. So, and I don't I, think that's an incorrect opinion. I just don't I just don't <laughs> I just think it's the right move. What keeps you? I mean, like you said, like the best place to play that game is on Xbox. Yeah. But I mean, what about the PC? I got a pretty powerful PC. You yeah, know but what I mean? at what like, cost? Right. And I think that that's the no. What, I, I mean, what yeah, the Xbox One X did for the first time ever is you could not build a comparable PC at that price. Not even close to that probably, price. Yeah. No, yeah. No, no, no. And I, I agree with that. And the console is the factor of just sitting in the chair. You know, you yeah. don't have to. But I don't know. It's just I. I'm interested to see is. It, how are they going to announce? I mean, this is all speculation and rumor, right? It's pretty heavy rumor, but uh, how do you announce you can? I it's I don't know. Basically, I how are they going to keep their foothold in the living room, right? Yeah, because obviously they don't want to give up either. Yeah, you know what I mean. Well, I it, I think through console st- sales still. Yeah, but anyways, it's an interesting discussion. Great question. Thank you very much. You can't see me. Next question comes in from Levi Harry. Levi says he has two first names. Levi Harry. I love that. I love a guy with two first names. <laughs> As do I. Levi Harry, thank you very much for writing in. He says, love the podcast. Listen to it every day on my commute to work. Keep up the good work. I actually really like the name Levi a lot. Oh, yeah, especially I, since we were I, just talking about I Attack really like the name Harry. Oh. <laughs> what about a Harry Levi? Oh, oh Dirty Harry. <laughs> dirty Harry's oh. awesome. Oh, I love that movie. He's so good. Or movies, but yeah. one in particular. Okay, he says, I always love 
I always appreciate, sorry, when a multiplayer shooter, or any multiplayer game for that matter, provides the players with a skill-based ranked. Large-scale multiplayer games like Fortnite, PUBG, Battlefield, and Apex don't provide a skill-based rank to players. I feel this addition would really add to the experience. I love playing Halo 5 ranked because I have to grind and practice to increase my ranking. Do you feel games like Apex or Battlefield would benefit from a skill ranking system? Do you think a skill ranking system is possible in these large-scale multiplayer games? Thanks again for the podcast let's start with mr mcspicy should yeah. these large scale multiplayer first person shooter games add a skill ranking like an apex like a PUBG, mcspicy in a perfect world yeah do, i i would think that wait that, do apex and PUBG have skill no, ratings no they don't oh you're saying like those games okay yeah, yeah. sorry i thought you meant like in a, yeah in, a, my, my in a perfect world you want every match to be close i mean that's what makes it fun whenever you completely destroy somebody where to the fact that you're embarrassed and they're embarrassed it's not fun right like if you're bet so far ahead of someone else it's almost like uh sorry might you be know, fun how for cute, the first guy but at, at, you know at the same time you don't want to get so dominated so hard you know kind of a thing um so in an, in an ideal world yes Apex has a player base of 50 million players i think that that allows for possibilities to do that um, but at the same time, I don't know how possible it is. It definitely will increase the waiting time a lot. And kind of the appeal to Fortnite was get in, get out, get in, get out. It takes three seconds to find a match. Yeah. That's because there's no filter that's going, Oh, this, this is a diamond tier player. This is a bronze tier player, platinum, etc. There's a huge appeal to Fortnite. That's one of the reasons I started playing Fortnite over, Oh, what was I playing at the time? PUBG, I yeah. think. I can't remember. Um, but there, it just took. It was just so fascinating to have a match in three seconds. Yeah, just I was like, you Whoa. were never you never stopped. We're in. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Ideally, it makes sense, but in a massive hundred player lobby, that gets kind of hard. And I would I would expect something like that to run on a server somewhere else to match them up would probably cause latency issues or yeah. something. I don't know. I mean, I'm not smart enough to know all the science behind that, but that's m my guess as to why that doesn't take place. Because you're when you do that, you split your player base, I don't even know how many times when you add something like that. Whereas a game that's a lot smaller, like Overwatch, where you have five players on each side, a game like StarCraft, where you generally, for the most part, only have one player on each side, it makes sense to add those filters in and to get you know, player, you know, equal in skill level fighting sure. each other. Absolutely. Well, and how would you necessarily do it in a battle royale? Because usually that skill level is dependent on win or loss, right? Yeah. Like in Halo and StarCraft, if you win, you go up. If you lose, you go down. What's considered a win and a loss in you a can battle do it. royale game? Yeah. Like you'd have to do it in tiers. But, but then how do you do that? If you get in the top 20, you get half a rank. If you get in the top, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, well, I think well, it's much more complicated. Let's, let, let's yeah. simplify it a little bit and think of it like a MMR that Blizzard uses, right? When yeah. you win, you go up. When you lose, you go down. We could say that, um, in, let's say you make it to top 20, you get one point you make it to top 10 you get two points you get below 30 you get minus one point when you get below 50 you get minus five points right and then it puts you at a number between one through five thousand and then it'll rank you up between anybody that has 2500 to three thousand yeah as that, that number that also being said you only have a one life rule in in battle royale games so like if you what if you go 10 games and you're you know you get 80th place not necessarily through, I mean, how many times have you dropped in and you just died then you start playing players where you win yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah that's yeah, how that's yeah, how yeah, the yeah. system works what and what is that where you're like in no man's land where you're just elo elo you're, elo you're, hell. you're oh elo yeah, hell. yeah yeah that's yeah, <laughs> yeah that's funny elo hell that's what that is there you have it. Great question, Levi Harry. Appreciate it. Thank you very much for sending that in. Uh, this this next question is for Jordan the Man. Let's start with you. This is from Death Star Destroyer. Death Star Destroyer writes in and says, Hey, guys. I love everything you guys do. My question this week is, what game would you love to see remastered on the Xbox One X? For me, it would either be Kotar or Mech Assault. Love both of these games. Keep up the great work, guys. Jordan, remastered game. Oh, man. That's a, that's a good one. Ooh. Ah, ooh. okay. Can I say a game that I've always wanted to be? Re it's not Nintendo. It's or it's sorry. It's not Xbox. It's sure. not PlayStation. It's actually a Nintendo game. Okay, 
I would love to see remastered Super Mario Sunshine from the GameCube. One okay. of my favorite Mario games of all time. Also, Luigi's Mansion. Okay. That may be a possibility now that uh, yeah, Nintendo... Yeah, maybe it will be switching. an Xbox now game. Switching, now that go. Bowser and Spencer are playing <laughs> golf together. <laughs> no, I just... I That game, Super Mario Sunshine, one of my favorite games of all time. Luigi's Mansion, another game of mine. I, I would love to see those I'll say one that I'd like to see them remastered in the way that Blur remastered Halo 2 is Halo Combat Evolve remastered completely because that... That one with because uh, that was remastered first, and then Halo Two was remastered. Yeah, and they put some serious. And Halo Two was remastered, yeah, right? Like, was, woo. Yeah. And I would like awesome. to see Halo Combat Evolved just because I mean the nostalgia of it, the music, the co-op in it is so good. But to have it, have it frostbite in, in oh, have a frostbite engine. Yeah, oh, oh, you're shooting leaves off it's the tree. So good, right? Oh man. I, I, that's what I would like to see. Um, one of those obviously older, more nostalgic games. I also would like to see Red Dead Redemption 1 remastered, which is a rumor that maybe that's happening mm-hmm. in this Red Dead Redemption 2. I'd, I'd play the whole game over if that's yeah, the case. Yeah, it was fun. Right? Mix by see anything? Any, any There's games come so to your mind? many that come to my head. I'm thinking like, I'm thinking old school. These are runner-ups. Sure. I really like when I was a kid, Scorched Earth. I don't know if you ever played that. I never played Scorched I Earth. I think they came Rock out. Rock and Roll Racing. Rock and Roll Racing, Blizzard, yeah, that was, that was Blizzard. Lost before. Vikings. Uh, I'm think. I mean, any Zelda game I I love, but that's Nintendo, and I'm not going to do what Jordan did. I'm going to think of the next <laughs> game. I honestly, um, and I've said this before years ago on the show, the Warriors. Yeah, yeah. The Rockstar game, the Warriors. That's uh, is one of my favorite games of all time. I love that game. When was the last time you think you played that game? Oh, I was probably ninety four. No, I was probably. It's probably 15 years ago. I wonder. It would be interesting. It came out like 2004 or something. Right? Yeah, it would be interesting because you have a memory of a game. If you went back and you just played the original, you're like, Ugh. no, the game was really good. I'm sure the mechanics are now terrible, just because of what we're used to. But if you took the concept of that game yes, and the mechanics, remaster and that. That was a lot such like a what game. I mean. Resident Evil 2 remastered, fantastic, right? Oh like, yeah, yeah. So oh, I, man. Hey, I okay. I there Can is an Xbox you game. Dig it. I love War the Warriors. Yeah. Go yeah. watch the movie The Warriors and then play that game and tell me. That <laughs> tell me it's not bad. awesome, Jordan. Yeah. Jordan no, you I do have one Xbox, Xbox game. game that I I cherish and love. That would be the first Fusion Frenzy. Oh yeah, Fusion oh, Frenzy. Yeah, yeah, Fusion Frenzy. Good. I don't know if you need to remaster that though. It's not really. No, like, do it. I yeah, want but, it in Frostbite. Yeah, I three. would like Blur <laughs> okay. to do the. the uh, Cooper in chat <laughs> says Project Gotham Racing. That was a favorite of a, lot of a lot of people. That's yeah, a good Frostbite one. Three. And Zulabus in chat says Splinter Cell. As, uh, uh, that was a good one. Viper says Twisted Metal would be a good one to hey, read. But as that, well. that was PlayStation, right? Yeah, that was Bike. PlayStation, yeah. Hey, Excite Bike. Hey, I have another one Yo. That I, that's like one of my favorite games ever Ninja Gaiden. Like the Ninja Gaiden Black yeah. from the OG Xbox. Oh, yeah. That's one of your favorite games ever. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. When hard games were hard. When hard games were hard. I guess they already remastered this, but the original Fable, they had Fable Anniversary, which was remastered, but doing like a full... On the Frostbite mid- 3. Yeah. <laughs> With Blur. <laughs> With Blur. <laughs> oh, man. Great question. Death Star Destroyer. Thank you very much for writing in. Last question. Comes from the one and only Chocolate Bear. He says, my question is for X1. How close are you to becoming a full-time streamer? And when are you planning to start? Keep up the great work. We are working really hard on that. Set a goal. <laughs> Keep going. Sorry. We just... Set a goal. Sorry. Um, January 2020. We're gonna take the, we're gonna take the chance, uh, and I'm gonna go full time streaming. If you'd like to know, if the best way, honestly, to help that come true, January 2020, um, just this is just streaming. So this is separate from the studio. This is separate from Patreon. Uh, we're working towards getting to the studio on Patreon. Uh, we have to get to 300 Patreon followers in order to make that happen. We're working hard towards that. Uh, but in order in, in order to best support. Going full time in January 2020, make that goal come through. Honestly, just hanging out, donating sparks. The stream goes 24 hours a day, yeah, seven days yeah. a week. Collecting those sparks and donating that, those sparks turn into cash. It's a great way to support the it's, show. Yeah, it's awesome. It's if you don't have the money to help, you know, financially, you can just sit there and watch our 24/7 podcast, and then 
throw the sparks in. That helps us financially. It really does. It's actually a really cool thing that Mixer does. Yeah, no, absolutely. And if you subscribe to us on Mixer, you get uh, bonus. You earn more sparks while in our channel as you get really cool emoticons that oh, or emotes yeah. that are really cool but you get 100 sparks per minute a million sparks per week if everybody that subscribed to us donated their million sparks every week we i mean we could go full time tomorrow doing that but yeah. january 20 we're, that's it it's in stone we're doing it we're taking a risk i might be i might not have a house at the end of next year we'll see but oh well Oh, I'll, I'll still have my Xbox, damn it. <laughs> Amen, brother. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Chocolate Bear. A great question. That does us. Guys, we're out of here. We're out of we here. Thank you very much. Out of here for the show. But we'll, everyone watching live, we do things yeah. after the show. You can come hang out. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us. If you haven't yet, don't forget to go over to iTunes. Rate, review, and subscribe to us there. Share us with your friends. Share us on the website. Share us on Reddit. Share us on tumblr share us everywhere you can grow the that community helps. it really helps us out thank you very much uh don't forget to have fun gaming this week oh Mick yeah spicy's taking us out of here jordan what's the game you're gonna go play right now division two boom Mick spicy you're joining him absolutely oh my goodness Are i've you? got i'm gonna be guild grinding for uh, black desert online this weekend yeah i gotta get my level up uh the guild grind that's what i call love making with my wife oh shush <laughs> why would you why would you do that why would you do that right there? There was only five seconds left. I had to say something. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> hey, see you guys next week. Bye-bye.